Hey guys, welcome back. This is a, a recap for a, slash an intro for our episode two for you guys here on YouTube. If you guys missed the live stream over on Twitch, Mondays at 7.30. Uh, to start the recap, we uh, continued after our short rest, we continued deeper into the mines uh, or into the crypt that then eventually, like I just uh, spoiled, turns into a mine shaft. Uh, once we entered into the mine shaft portion of, the, of this dungeon per se, uh, we came across our first set of beasts, which are creatures, which was uh, a two massive swarms of spiders uh, being led by a, a, a bigger spider. I don't really know what you would call it. Uh, once we dispatched the spiders, we then noticed that the, the cave walls were covered in carvings of eyes. We still are trying to figure that out, but it's just covered in eyes. Um, we, we made our way deeper into the mines. We found this sort of lake. We're not sure if it was man-made or if it was uh, just a naturally occurring uh, pond. Uh, after the, the initial battle was over, we, we, we ran into an issue where uh, one of our members, Nephi, seemed to uh, have come under control of some sort of foreign power. Um, and unfortunately, we, uh, we uh, lost Nephi. Uh, but it was probably for the better because he, Nephew was probably going to ruin us. So Sam being a city watch guard uh, dispatched the problem. Um, so that is a quick recap of, of episode two. I, I left out some key bits there, but I, I hope you guys enjoy. For two last, hours. Where we left off last time, guys. Um, this strange group of individuals was brought together by a very flagrant, flaky sort of Seemed like he didn't care a lot about much, just chucking money around and also just sort of vaguely telling you what he needed of you. Um, you guys were gathered at the uh, Temple of Kol Karnath in... Um, Temple of Kol Karan in Koranath, district of Sharn, um, the upper wards of Sharn in the Central Plateau. Um, for all of you, this was a strange and new experience to be in the like pinnacle of wealth and prosperity in the largest city in the land, the Sharn City of Towers. Now, though you came from different locales and had your own things uh, brought along with you, um, for whatever reason, you found yourself trailing downward through the city into the cogs on some mission to find this handmaiden who had been kidnapped, her, the, his, his daughter's favorite handmaiden. And I'm going to remember that guy's name now um, as I look at my notes because... I am a good DM and take notes on things. Um, <laughs> I got rid of all my notes. What? No. You're, I read your notes in order to get my notes. I know. <laughs> um, what was his name? I can't read. You can't oh. read? <laughs> that's, that's a you thing, my guy. Dun Garen. I know it was Dun Garen. Um, Lord Dun Garen. Um, yeah, one of Lord Dungaren's handmaidens was kidnapped by a goblinoid individual who you later learned was named Bobby the Bob. Um, a strange one-eared goblin who just has like a cloak covered in fishing bobbers. Um, and yeah, he's an interesting looking individual. He also has a sweetheart um, down at the local, <laughs> down at the uh, pumpkin seed tavern in the cogs uh you you happen to run into um and she gave away his location and upon going to crypt row and to the crypt that the aforementioned row was named after um you found this bobby the bob and told him hey your sweetheart she's sweet on you and she just broke up with her husband and he was like what really and you guys were like yeah and he was like oh sweet have some zombies and then he left <laughs> And so, after defeating the zombies, one of which may or may not have been the handmaiden you are looking for, as her body lays bifurcated on the ground, you guys decided to take a brief respite, as several of you were on the brink of death, um, and one of your party members, the dwarf known as... I say slowly to find the page in my notes where I wrote that Doric, he died, so I forgot his name. Uh -huh. The dwarf name is Doric, was eviscerated by a trap coffin. Um, his brother Grom now sitting against the wall, just looking a little d downtrodden and confused as to what to do as you guys take your rest here in the antechamber of this crypt. Um, as you guys rest up and think about what you've uh, 
what this experience has taught you. Um, you guys find yourself at the end of a short rest. What would you guys like to do? What is today? What is the date? Remember, we also leveled up. That's correct. But we are now all level two. In fact, correct. I'm just going to do that real quick. Yeah, just go ahead and roll those hit dice, my dude. Yeah, we're just going to... Oh, gosh. Hey, are you going to let me edit the sheet, buddy? No. Nah. Okay. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, you got. You just keep going. I'm just going to do this. Um, we got you. Yeah. Your character may or may not die due to the repercussions if you not... Nope, not level... Not minus one. So as you guys are taking your rest, uh, Sam Shepard especially is taking this time to really just pass out for a hot oh. minute. Um, the changeling individual known as Nephestus comes in. Ah, um, nephew. Pulling pulling the corpse of this woman, uh, now bifurcated in twain, um, the two halves uh, vaguely forming a whole. It looks like that various aspects have been sewn on, um, like various other muscles, like it's been a conglomerate of bodies that was sort of Frankenstein together. Um, as he drops it on the floor, he looks up over towards you, um, Edwin. Uh, do you think that this is really the woman we're looking for? It's hard to tell. Uh, well, I'm not too sure because we, we, how long, how long has the, the handmaiden or how long has the maid been missing? Uh, I mean, looking, enough to become a zombie, like zombified, murdered uh, and zombified. He did not mention how long she has been missing. Hmm. But I heard about this contract uh, a day ago, day and a half at this point. Hmm. Could have taken a while to uh, report it. I mean, it's not exactly uncommon around these rich folk to kind of wait a bit and try to do it themselves or have someone they know do it for them. I mean, that's what we're doing right now. We're, uh, I guess, uh, outside help. We're not exactly inside help. I would hardly say I know a Lord Dungarin. That bastard made Doric die. Grom sitting in the corner, sort of shaking back and forth. I'm gonna go console <laughs> Grom. That's sad. <laughs> As you walk over to Grom, um, dear, Grom is. Um, Grom is this, uh, this guy over here. Grom sort of like shaking back and forth. You come walk up over towards him. He doesn't. He just gives you the thousand yard stare, sort of at your shoelaces. Um, I'm just gonna pat him on the back and kind of just just be there. You know, I won't say anything. I'm just. I'll let my little owl like cuddle up. He sort of him. like he like recoils to your touch, but as the owl walks down your arm and onto his shoulder, he like sort of goes and like offers a finger. And the owl hops on his little hand, and he just sort of like smooshes the like grabs gives the owl a hug and sort of like weeps into the owl's like feathers. They're very absorbent. Tell <laughs> oh. the owl's head turns around, and you just sort of see his eyes like bulging out of his head as he's like, "Help!" Kind of, I kind of like say to him in my mind, "No, needs this. Just pretend <laughs> it's me." <laughs> The owl just like gives you a little glare and then like turns away from you um, as Grob continues <laughs> into uh, the owl. <laughs> Back to the body. The body laying on the ground before you. Um, it does look. Uh, go ahead, um, Edwin, as you're taking a look over it. Here. Um, huh? You're. I'm. You're. Oh, you're is it? Yes. I was <laughs> like. <laughs> What do you mean, me? You're. Oh, you're. Yeah, you're. okay. Um, so take a look. Go ahead and roll a uh, medicine check. Um, trying to figure out how long this body has been. Mm, this is a bad time. Eh, this is an all right time. Yeah. Um, glancing over the body, <laughs> I'm sort of like lifting up parts of it. As a bounty hunter, you've dealt with an unfortunate number of dead bodies before. Um, and the parts that are female on this Frankenstein of a zombie um, are fairly rotted. Um, and they look, it looks to be through like, there's like maggots and worms in it. 
um, which indicates a natural rot as opposed to a accelerated. So this body's been rot. dead for a, for a bit. The female parts of the body have been dead a while. There are some aspects of it. Some of the muscles that have been sewn on are are like fresher. Um, and actually looking at it, the muscles that have been sewn arm on, not humanoid. Mm. Not quite sure what, but definitely not humanoid. Something the the like tendons are much larger than the average human. I suspect we'll need to explore this cave a little, or this uh, this crypt a little bit more. I I don't think that this is the the missing woman in question. Oh, well, that, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Once once we're all healed up, uh, well, Sammy over there, I think he he was close to death. True yeah. that. Perhaps I was uh, a little winded from our last encounter, but rest assured, I should be able to uh, approach this crypt with the utmost zeal. Taking the time, uh, uh, Sam, to to um, dress your wounds, you do have some um, r loose medical supplies. Um, but it's more of the sort of like, you know, bandage wraps and things that take some time to apply that don't have like a stat block for. But when you take a long rest, you wrap up and you pull out the arrow that was in your chest um, and, you know, patch that up, plugging the hole with some cotton swab. Um, you have to get that checked out a little bit later, a bit more um, intensely. But for the time being, um, you're put together pretty well. Finally, that combat lifesaver training's coming in handy. Grom puts the owl down on the ground. <laughs> Thanks. And pats the owl on the head. The owl's feathers are just like all askew and in different directions as the owl flutters back up onto your shoulder, uh, Diero, oh. and just sort of like. Oh, oh, oh buddy, you gotta need to get cleaned up. I'll, I'll, I'll send you away for a little bit and. Come back when when you're ready. Um. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna set a couple alarms uh just around so in case anything bad happens there, we'll, we'll, we'll know. Um. This is at the end of the long rest or the oh, short rest. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we've already slept. Yeah. You guys have taken your short rest a little hour and a half or if any so. if anything was gonna get us, we would already be got. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. Nephi has been doing the most of the watch back and forth, keeping an eye out. Um, which since this is a very, there's one entrance, one entrance exit to this room, it's pretty easy to keep an eye out. Um, uh, I'll walk over to, I'll, I'll walk over to Sam and I'll kind of be like, hey, hey buddy, uh, you, you ready to go? Well, I will say that I am quite ready to go right now. Uh, uh Ray Rick? Yep. <laughs> uh, well, who would like to, uh, Take the lead. I am a bit concerned there might be more. Uh, Glance to go for a Grom. Uh, inconveniences along the way. Allow me. Yeah, have the brave city guard take the lead. What I suggested. After you. Um, and uh, Nephi indicating the way back into the chamber where you fought the zombies. Um, the coffin stands still, blood now dripped off the sides mostly, as if the coffin was covered in a layer of, um, like a layer of oil. It's like water resistant, and it's just like it's perfectly free of blood. Though there is blood pooled on the ground around the coffin. Um, I'll, I'll make sure Grom doesn't see any of that. <laughs> Grom walks in and looks up for a second, sees it quickly, and just, like, looks down as Nephi will, uh... Nephi doesn't care about Grom. Um, Nephi's gonna follow behind. Grom, uh... Nephi doesn't care about behind Grom. You. Yeah. Um, Nephi's just sort of standing as close to, um... Uh... As close to Sam as, uh... Just to be a little uncomfy. He's just a little bit right up on your ass, uh... Sam. Yeah. That's do you have something to say to me? Uh, no, I just want to see what you see. I, uh... Can you see <clears throat> from a little farther back? Last thing we want is for you to get stabbed. While well, I'm getting stabbed at the same time. Perhaps through a long, pointing object. 
Yeah, fair enough. He sort of glares at you and takes a few steps back and stops following you so closely. What a fucking hey, uh, weirdo. Hey, 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 Daniel. What's up? Can you rotate my character? I can't rotate him because the little cog that says rotate is currently blocked by my set, the little settings. If you um, zoom in and out, it allows you to do that. Ah, but hey, I appreciate you. You. <laughs> you, just, you just did it back. There you go. Um, okay, cool. Um, entering in through this next little aspect of it, um, the floor, keeping an eye out just passively, there's nothing that strikes you um, as a danger immediately, Sam. Um, there are three coffins um, in this section of the room, one lofted up on top of a vault and they appear to be very old um and they are inscribed with family names on them um they say they all say boromir boromar um boromir what is this boromar. lord of the rings not boromir boromar um they are marked with the boromar um crest um the crime syndicates um family like uh symbol is there anyone alive in there? You should go check one of the coffins. Well, I'm sure I can hear them if they decide to pipe up and say if they were alive in there. Is anyone alive in there? Uh, you, you, you say that out loud. Um, you hear a faint... <sighs> well, that's okay. good enough for me. <laughs> Well, hold on. I, I I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. I'm not walking in somewhere where I just heard no. If you are not alive, please speak up right now. Silence. Okay. Well, Guerrero, City Watch are really, really kind of dumb, aren't they? Yeah. So, uh, that does it for me, at least. Oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if if you really are alive and you really do not want to be rescued from your crypt, so be it. I'm leaving you. So you continue onward. <laughs> yes, I I will continue further down. Uh, do, I'm assuming this is a corridor. If it, yes, it is. Since I take it this area isn't lit, do we have a better view of things if we have dark vision? Um, if you have dark vision, um, yes. Um, well, you do have some light coming from, I presume, uh, Diero has cast light on something. And I have um, my eye bright lantern. Yeah. Um, there, there is some light for those who cannot see in the dark. Um, unless you tell me otherwise, that's what I'm going to assume. Um, so Right, I'm just seeing if I would notice anything outside of the range of ahead, the light. As, you, as you're glancing around, go ahead and make a perception check. Hey, yeah. Glancing around a little bit, um, taking a second and letting a couple people pass you, or just like continue to walk through you. Um, as Grom comes up behind, sort of glancing around, um, you take note that um, the coffin at the top. Um, you take note of a couple things. Um, that you know the light passing over, you caught some glimpses of some just like graffiti on it but there's a there's a fair amount of graffiti on the walls here of just like various eyes like large like circular eyes like cat-like eyes just like there's even some goat eyes that have like those weird horizontal pupils they're just like graffiti all over the wall in like beautiful detail um it's, it looks it's just sort of been tagged by a lot of different um sculptures of weird um a lot of eye motifs in the graffiti here um, but also noting that you note that the coffin, because like one of the eyes graffitied onto the coffin at the top, um, it's not like a perfect circle. The, you can see the coffin's lid is lifted slightly and moved to the side because one of the eyes like has that break in the circle. Um, so you can tell that the coffin on the top has been opened and not closed properly. And by top, do you mean top of the 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 raised yes. platform in the okay. center of the room yep okay i was just like i mean yep. normally you know when you give us directions it's it's like yeah. you know left yep yep okay yep hey uh hey sam it looks like the uh 
Looks like the, the, the most prominent coffin may have some shenanigans happening with it. You should probably go check that out. Hey, topmost coffin. Are you, uh, are you a womanly handmaiden? No. Well, there you fucking go. That's not who we're looking for. Why would I bother someone who we're not looking for? <laughs> Neffy just glances over at you and glances back at you. Is no one else concerned about the fact when... that you're talking to a coffin right now? Yeah, it could be fucking anybody in that coffin. Yeah. Well, the point is that uh, it's not a crime to be inside a coffin. Now, is it? Now, we are looking for some sort of kidnapped handmaiden, and I just don't want to stir up trouble waking up some poor bastard who's sleeping in his goddamn coffin. Well, he's already awake now because you're, you're asking if they're the person we're looking for. Hey, buddy, are we bothering you? Yeah. See, exactly. Now stop bothering the poor man and let him rest. He's in a coffin, for Christ's sake. Well, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Uh, Nephi sort of glances over at you, Edwin. Do you want to go? He sort of like takes his blade out and takes a couple steps towards the coffin. Uh, I mean... He's already in a coffin. Let's just keep going. Hey, hey there, hey there, coffin buddy. Do you know anything about a person being held captive here? Roll straight charisma roll. Oh, I'm so bad at charisma. Oh, I'm so bad. There is no response. Nephi, maybe you could ask. I do not think he's interested in talking. Hey, are you interested in talking? There's a pause. No. Hey, Grom, you want to go check out that crypt? <laughs> Grom just looks at you <laughs> and looks at the coffin and just, like, tears start to form in his eyes. But that was a low blow. Why would you do that to Grom? Come on, Grom. Let's go. Grom walks off to, uh, in front of you if you do not go in front of him, Sam, um, to continue down that hallway. Um, I'll follow behind him. Yeah. Guys... We should have just like walked past some random just voice coming out the of a poor coffin. Man alone. What do you mean? What? If we need to bother him, we can come on check it on the way out. He doesn't stab us in the kidneys. Well, don't watch your that. kidneys then. <sighs> okay. Walking your way through. Um, Sam, you note that Grom taking a couple steps forward, your flashlight passes over and you see one of the eyes, ta the eye, um, graffiti that's sort of partially covered in rocks. You note that there is a distinct glowing glyph along it, just as Grom is about to step into it. Hey, Grom, hey, watch your step. Grom sort of like catches himself or is going to try and catch himself. Um... Do, 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 do. Watch out! Watch out! Just no! <laughs> Get ready. Yeah, Grom, you, you, you say something and Grom's like, oh, and sort of takes a step back. Um, and covered on the floor here, there is a small um, glowing glyph on the ground. You almost stepped on the equivalent of a landmine there. You know what the, uh, you don't know what the glyph was gonna do. That's true, but I can assume it probably wasn't particularly helpful to our cause. Grom Much gets, like a landmine. Grom gets down on his hands and knees and just sort of like sniffs the stone next to the glyph. Seems to be some sort of explosive glyph. Wow, I must be truly smart. Oh, Lord. Jeez, now. Wait. He's glancing off at the T section where this glyph is sort of placed. 
the cavern splits into two distinct directions. One, it continues on more crypt, constructed stonework of ancient dwarven make. The other um, looks like a natural cavern has been broken into recently. Um, there's mining tools on the ground, sort of near this rubble of rocks, um, and just some shovels, dirt piled up, and there's a smaller opening that you kind of have to crawl your way through um, to get into an open cavern area. Um, this glyph awkwardly in the way, making it a little difficult to um, maneuver around. Hey, uh, magic boy, owl man. You know magic? I'll look around. Uh, uh, what, what do you need? You know magic, right? Uh, yeah, this, this owl is pure magic. I'm, I'm going to need you to break this symbol, he. Do I know how Couldn't to... you just scratch it, Mr. Master Adventurer? Now listen, I am uh, not a member of this city's bomb squad, so I do not really know how to disarm something like this right now. I'm uh, entrusting this magical item to someone who I think is definitely magical, as he okay. keeps saying. The thing's in the way? Like, we can't go around it? Uh, you can step over it, but like to get either direction is just there's a there's it, it's a little it's a little hairy. Um, you kind of have to jump over it. Um, well, oh well, I, I don't know how to exactly disarm it, but I could just make a platform so we walk over it, and that should that should be okay. Yes, I do suppose that uh that will solve this puzzle. Uh, well, you just have to be sure to step on this uh floating disc here and. Oh, cool. Um, so, as a small, uh, small, a three-foot floating disc just appears right above the glyph, um, covering up mainly, uh, making it fairly easy to go either direction if you would like. Well done. Really, thanks for subscription or subscribing for I suppose months. now the only question Appreciate is, is uh, which way do we want to go? I'd say if we wanted to maybe find this woman going where it looks like people have been may be the most appropriate course of action. Okay, so which way have people have been? Oh, it's down that mine shaft there. Or a cabin or something. There's mining tools. I'm going to call it a mine shaft from now on. Hey, hey Ranger Rick, are you, are you good with directions? I feel like you'd do better than... Um... You know. <laughs> I like this stone over here. Grom is sort of like, he's take a, taking a step over the disc and is sort of standing in this hallway. All right, we follow Grom. The dwarf should know where we need to go. Well, I like I just, a good stone, so well, sounds good to me. Just a fine dwarven make um, as he takes a few steps forward. Um, and explosion. <laughs> takes a few steps forward um, and as you guys follow behind him um, finding yourself in another hallway with uh, more coffins um, if there's ever been a time that I am afraid of what's about to happen when we get to the end of this tunnel uh, it'll be right now I'm yeah. quite, quite afraid because um, you know the coffins yeah, um, as he's sort of carefully walking through, making his way onward. Um, yes, this is interesting. I didn't know that there was a city bigger than I thought it was. Crom's sort of just like touching the stone and like glancing at it. Um, Telly's thinking about a lot right now. Um, as he takes a few steps forward, into the space, he looks down and almost steps on um, a distinctly raised part of the floor. Um, takes a step back. Mm. Seems a little sketchy. Like a trigger. Yeah. But other than that, sort of taking, all, walking all the way down and uh, taking a look. Can, um, can we talk about the fact that we are all just letting Grom <laughs> walk by himself down this hallway? <laughs> you doing good down there, buddy? Yeah, it seems to be all clear except for this trap here. There's some weird shrine over here. 
more tombs. Is Lots our hand of eyes as well? Is our hand made by said shrine? Glancing back towards the shrine. No, there's a offerings chest and a looks like a lance. Well, looks like she's not down this way, boys. What do you mean? Um, looks like you didn't look. Grom, oh, oh, master adventurer. Eyes? Uh, yeah. Looks like Grom's looked then. I'm gonna whisper to Ranger Rick. Hey, did he really just ask if that guy had eyes? Yep. Should we really trust him? Like. Well, let me try this uh, again no, for no, you, man. Edwin. Hey. If there are any handmaidens who need rescuing down this hallway, speak now or forever hold your peace. I fucking told you. Now, <laughs> let's turn around. Sounds get the like hell there's out no here. one down there. Grom, glancing at you guys as you guys go to walk the other way, turns back, grabs the lance. Oh no, he grabbed something. Careful, I've Beth, seen this play. scene before. He opens, the, he opens the box and is just like, I'm just gonna grab this stuff real quick. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. He sort of shrugs. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, almighty oh, one? Well, I mean nothing because I literally just said that I was gonna pretend Wait like a I second. didn't see it. And he rushes, uh... Nephis rushes forward, um, goes like, hey, come on, um, and sort of bickers a little bit. Oh, fine. And they argue a little bit, and he grabs some of the contents of the chest. Um, you guys make your way the other way, then? Is, is, is there more this way, or is this just, is this broken? Oh, no, yeah, there's more that way. There's more that way. Would I be able I to just... see more of that as I turn around? <laughs> Uh, so we are now in a cave system. Yeah, it looks like that they've mined through the exterior, and it's sort of like is a rough a little ways, and then breaks into partial cave that has been like hollowed out. Looks like they broke through this wall here from the like from inside the crypt, and have burrowed into this uh, cave system. Uh, All right, onward, city guard, master adventurer. I don't know where you're getting this master adventurer thing from, but I mean, okay. You sh you should grab a shovel or a pickaxe, and it might come in handy. Uh, what boy? I'm not mining for jewels. I'm not here to break rocks. We're here to. Do you think this mistress is trapped in stone? <laughs> I, I shake my head. Then put the pickaxe down, or don't even bother with it, and follow me. I don't put the pickaxe down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you grab. You now have a pickaxe that weighs 10 pounds. His arms mm. break. <laughs> I will continue down this hallway. Mm. This cavern, mine shaft. I'm going to refer to it as a mine shaft instead of pickaxes, like I said. Right. Um, as you continue down this, uh, mind, this mind shaft, um, <laughs> it continues onward, um, and goes down a little bit, about, I'd say, over the course of these various steps, 20 feet, um, and sort of just winds downward into more of this natural cavern, um, as you're making your way along, uh, you specifically, Sam, um, with your passive perception being so high, um, start to hear some scuttling sound. Wait, what is your passive perception? Uh, the number is 20 if I had to quantify it. <laughs> Yeesh. Uh, just using a, uh, arbitrary number. Okay, uh, all right, but... okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. That was an out of character question. <laughs> you don't even you don't need to tell me in character. Slash OOC. Uh hey Danny, does my floor just follow me since is there like any terrain that's been blocking it? 
Um, the disc is immobile. It would have been following him. Yeah, it can follow you just fine. Um, yeah, there has not been an elevation change of 10 feet or more. You could just stand on the disc. And it wouldn't follow me. It could not move on its own free will, silly Edwin. Oh. Sorry, I'm not... Maybe one day. I'm not a magic boy. Now, I want you to know that I do hear some scuttling. That could be, uh... That could be some rats. That could be, like, a big old worm. Could be some shifty goblins. Who knows? I do not know of what worm makes a scuttle sound. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not seen many worms. <laughs> You should get out of the city more. Uh, born and raised. All right, let's keep going. So you continue to make your way along. Um, glancing up, Edwin, you note that there are still some various like markings on this wall that have been sort of carved in with rough pickaxes of just like large spheres just sort of here and there. But as you glance up, just sort of taking note of the pattern as you enter this larger room, um, you see that the ceiling is covered in spiders. <clears throat> there are spiders everywhere. I shine my eye bright lantern towards the ceiling. As you shine your light upwards, Why? you get the immediate reflection of thousands of little tiny beady red and blue eyes that reflect back at you. Um, and as you sort of take a glance upward um, and just sort of see this mass of writhing spiders above you. Um, I back away. That's quite possibly one of the does, most uh, terrifying Does Ranger Rick know these spiders? Has he seen these spiders before? These specific spiders? Oh, like the species? Go ahead and make yeah, a Is he like... Unfortunately, he's not very good with nature. Um, you, well, Jesus, you're really not. Um, <laughs> Wait. Glancing, glancing up. A ranger uh, who's not good with with, with nature. Ah, interesting. Uh, well, you know, uh, the stats weren't rolled very well, uh, so... As the spiders <laughs> scuttling on top. Um, ranger Rick, you just recognize, you see some very large wolf spiders mixed in, um, but it appears to be several species, which you're not an expert by any means, but usually spiders aren't group creatures nor do they get along certainly and not at the size that they are which are all about the size of like um i would say the smallest ones are the size of a silver dollar and the largest ones are like a reasonable size ihop pancake so these aren't your typical sorry. friendly spider what, what is a what is an ihop pancake i ihop pancakes are I made at i don't a i don't know what that is out what? of character, dickhead. <laughs> what, 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 can, can I get a reference of something in in character? Uh, the gears that they use on uh, the more, like, the fancier versions of the carts, um, like ah, House Orion carts, okay, like yeah, the, yeah. the axle wheel okay. is about the size, you know, or maybe perchance a dinner plate. Ah, um, dinner plate, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, as as the voice in your head of God that has been narrating what you literally physically see says uh, this to you. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Taking notes. I hop. I hop. Must look at this <clears throat> later. As the lights spring across the eyes, um, you hear a strange, just like garbled, shittering voice that comes through the the scuttling of the spiders. Um, we will all come. To the caves. <clears throat> Howdy. Uh, it's Ranger Rick. You do not be along. I'm, so, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? You, can't, you uh, do not be along. Uh, you're right. Uh, that is correct. We do not belong here. Uh, but we are, are looking for someone. Uh, maybe you could help. Actually, uh, we're looking for a lost girl. Uh, have you have you seen her? A thousand eyes see a thousand things. Yeah, but we're looking for just one uh, lost girl. Have you seen a lost girl? You will find her soon.
good to know. Uh, did, so, do you know where she is? Could you point us in a direction? As you're talking, Ranger Rick, um, and this very large spider, probably about the size of, like, the body of it is the size of your torso. Um, it walks down and sort of, like, goes up on its front legs and its mandibles move apart and you recognize the voice is sort of vaguely emanating from him as it crawls right beside your face. Um, and it says, I found something. What is it? <laughs> it goes out from the taxi. <laughs> go ahead. Go well, ahead. Aragog is here. It, yeah, go ahead and... Uh... Roll in the ship. Um, all of these, us? All of you guys. Okay. And I'm going to resize these just so you get an idea that it's a swarm of spiders. Um, <laughs> They're behind us. Goes, oh, it, the whole ceiling was covered, and I'm just using these tokens to represent. It, 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 more accurately, it would be you are all just like suddenly as spiders drop from the ceiling and crawl around the sides, the sea of just biting and picking and little scuttling scrapes across your armor getting in through your bits um, comes through and is represented by these Tokyones. Grab this and be um, like, okay, so that's a 20, so I can go 40, and I could also. Yeah, so I could go. Yeah, how far is that? Oh, and I need to give you this guy that's right by your head. Oh my, I can go twice my distance. So that's 80. So let's <laughs> see how far away I can go. Uh, uh, descending. And then let me go ahead and get. And change lane. And my owl. Your owl, you can, you should be able to roll his initiative. Oh, can you not? Oh, let me just uh, edit. Uh, yeah, can we edit him and control by you? You should be able to click on him and roll his initiative. Does he have his own sheet? Yeah. Can you not see it? Edit uh, in player's journals. There we go. Oh, owl. Oh, it's so pretty. Cool, cool. Are we so, supposed to be hearing music, Daniel? There it. Give me a second. Um, <laughs> Professional DM. Are we listening to the marimba? That's nope. Wrong music. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is wrong, way too. This is music. way too lighthearted than being swarmed by spiders. You know, I hate to tell you, I don't know if I have a really good spider. All my music is all the fight music I can find is really epic. This will work. You could uh play Centipede by uh Knife Party. <laughs> I got a, I got a, I almost got a concussion to that song. What? what heck of song. This 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 music works. Um somebody was crowd so, surfing and uh we collided heads. So as the spiders start to swarm down around, I actually like this music. As the spiders start to swarm down, I just labeled it poorly. As the spiders start to swarm down around you, um, I just need to write his name down on the thing. Um, what the fuck My is the changeling? Initiative is seventeen, dude. Oh, thank you. Um, the changeling's name. I need to just writing on a sheet. Nephis. Uh, it's Nephi. His name is Nephestus, um, but is also named Nephi. Um, Nephastus. Um, Nephastus turning over, swings, grabs his uh, dagger, and he's going to rush forward towards the spider on the wall. Uh, actually, he's swarmed in so, spider. He's just... uh, how, I guess, out of character, how do we handle... Because you said these tokens just represent a bunch of spiders. Yeah, it's, a, it's considered a swarm monster. So okay. it's just all around you. Um, so you can attack at them. Um, just the tokens are there to sort of represent it. Just picture like there is sea of spiders and you're trying to like smash them off of you or crush through them or walk around them. Um, okay. There, you are swarmed by spiders right now. Um, and then is this 
one the one that i was talking to yes that's sort of the large one here uh maybe i'll do it this way i'll make them really big and i'll put it on the map layer um so it's like this um, i think that's more accurate representation it just means that i now have to remember what their initiatives were um this is it boys so wait, wait, i'm just gonna go. write I, I sorry i have to write down their initiative i like them on the map layer i just have to write them down on the I have to write their initiative down. Fair enough. When they're on the map player, they do not have uh, the token of initiative. So five I, and three. I think the last time we uh, fought a swarm was a swarm of goblins and uh, Andrew just blew them up. Let's not talk about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Boom, fireball. <laughs> Boosted. Layer, map player, layer. But, 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 but no, no, I'm nervous, I'm hot. KKK, so, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, Change legs, he's gonna, turn and um yeah gonna just like go ahead and start stomping and stabbing at the spiders around him picking some of the larger ones and just stabbing recklessly into them um swarm of spiders uh ba -ba -ba -ba. their armor class is like 12. so um they have both those attack hits as he's just sort of stabbing recklessly into various aspects of this spider swarm just sort of sweeping the dagger spiders are getting blown apart into bits but more just crawl up his arm ah, ah, um taking 10 points of damage the swarm does um cool um yeah that's nephew's turn uh ranger rick as this large spider <laughs> just like the big pincers in its in, in your face what would you like to do oh i'd like to swing at it with my dagger cool going out going to peg the spider to the wall um that'll definitely hit <laughs> uh oh i forgot to use hunter's mark oh well uh i'll do that afterwards uh but yeah that, that's good yeah eight points of piercing damage as you stab you just sort of stab and you go for a stab but the spider scuttles out of the way and instead you just sort of the downswing chops off three of the spider's legs and they as it turns the eyes never die is that your go uh yep cool um so that is your go um Edwin, um, it's you. You're currently covered in spiders. <clears throat> I, I mean, I guess I'll swing it myself, question mark? You can try and like smack and hit them off of you um, as you just sort of like using your unarmed strikes to just to smush at spiders and try and get them off of you. Um, yeah. You, 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 you succeed in hitting several spiders. Um, you don't make three attacks, you make two. Fury, Fury blows. Oh, okay, so you expend a key point to do Fury blows. I'm covered in spiders. As you just sort of spin around, you fall over in the midst of your spinning around and hitting them, but you get back up and continue to smack a few of them. You get a couple of the very large ones, causing the smaller ones to shatter. Um, I'll say the second strike, you grab one that's on your arm and you smack it, and as you let your arm up, thousands of even smaller spiders crawl into your armor um, as you just break an egg case and get arm spiders all over your arm. I was going to say, I don't, I don't wear armor. Oh, right. All over your, well, <laughs> your clothing. <laughs> Your, your robes. Um, yeah, you smack the large spider, egg case breaks, and the spiders get all up in your robes and in your fur that is now long because you've shifted. Mm -hmm. So, um, go ahead and deal damage for the two that do hit. Okay. To the swarm in general, as you've just, they're taking out an assortment of the larger spiders and the smaller ones. Um, the swarm, still strong, whirling about you. Um, at this point, it's actually Diero's turn because he has that initiative thing. Yeah. Yeah. Run! <laughs> you run? Yeah. <laughs> now look at that. It's a pretty far run. Ah! As you rush through spiders biting at you as you run oh, through their space. Daniel, I don't know if you if you saw that, but I, I didn't I did in fact shift right when we got into the cave. I did see that. Okay. 
because oh, I have temporary I... hit points because of it. That's why I'm calling it out. Yep. As I run, as I start running to this swarm, uh, I, I blast them with a the fireball to kind of clear my way. I'll say with a natural twenty, you block the block the attack of opportunity that they would induce from you running through their space. Um, and you do blast them out of the way with your flames. Go ahead and deal damage. You note that the fire, as it burns, the spiders, the hair on these like large tarantula-like spiders' back catches rapidly and bursts through um, a large portion of this spider, the swarm getting burnt apart rather quickly. Um, seem particularly effective. Um, and this swarm actually um, is noticeably less um, large because of it. Less swarmy? Yeah. <laughs> Don't As get you just caught burst, this is the flames <laughs> ricochet across. Um, the, that swarm has significantly decreased in size. Um, that would be your turn, Diero. Um, it's now the giant spider's turn as it turns towards you after having taken um, damage that I definitely remembered to give it. Um, it, <laughs> its legs now sort of scuttling, just still able to move just as quickly, which is so unsettling. Um, it jumps out onto you, Edwin. Um, uh, not Edwin. It jumps out onto you, uh, Rick. I'm getting used to names. Jumps out onto you, Rick, and goes for a bite attack. That's Ranger Rick to you. Oh. Right at the jugular. It just lunges out. And this, like, giant, like, you just, like, man baby sized spider just stabs you right in the neck um oh. make a constitution saving throw <laughs> he's gonna die you succeed so you only take 15 points of damage five he's of dead. poison oh no i'm still up we're only level two i talked to this guy real nice and this is what he does. Bites right in the, the venom sinking into your bloodstream as you just, you're a strong, you're a strong elven man. Um, <laughs> but just, whoo, um, it stings. Um, and the blood immediately gushes from your neck from the large pincers that just sort of rip apart the side um, of where the clavicle meets your like neck. Um, and it stays on you. Um, on your person and just, <laughs> just sort of grabbing with its four legs, like latching on like a face hugger. Um, Sam Shepard, you turn around to this spider. You're coated in spiders that are now partially burning off of you because of Diero's flame. Um, and you turn around to see the spider, This you get blood splattered across the back of your head as the spider just like rips apart um rick's neck and he's currently like standing trying just like recoiling from the attack what would you like to do oh god get it off get it away about... you do succeed in stabbing the spider and not ranger rick <laughs> oh and that. also hold up sorry uh forget the next one but the the three sneak there yeah Oh, because, yep, because he is definitely in the combat range of another individual. Um, <laughs> right up in there. Um, and you succeed in grabbing the spider's abdomen and just sort of like, ah! it just stabs straight through and the spider comes off of the neck, blood gush gushing out. And you just sort of grab it this on the sword tip. You see it like cringe up and or uh, twinge, twitch, twitch. Um, you see it twitch up um, and just like, die on your blade as you fling it off to get it away from you. Ah, I'm gonna disengage! And go by Owl Boy! Oh wait, not you. You're not dead. You're dead. As it fly as it falls to the ground on well straight up viscerated, missing legs and just fallen. It just the other spiders now crawling over it. Um that would be oh shit i oh wait never mind okay yeah now um sam you just went okay cool i didn't forget their turns i just knew that their turn was on ac on on 13. um ha 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 um so um this swarm up here now gets its equivalent of a turn um and was going to go ahead and make attacks 
on the people currently within it, which would be Edwin and the Edwin and Grom. None of them have advantage on me. No. And it's just as the spiders are swarming across your body. Uh, Grom, I believe, does get bitten by these spiders. What a weakling. Um, yeah. Oh. But you, with your thick hide from your shift and the fur, although they do cover your body, they, they're, they're spiders. They can't really get through. They, it, it, it's fright. It's terrifying, but like, not incredibly damaging. Um, Grom, however, takes nine points of piercing damage as he does not have the benefits of a thick hide um, and his uh, armor does not give him much protection against this swarm of spiders that now coat his body. Um, um, also, go ahead and make a... Um, I would say um, an acrobatics check for your owl. Um, Oh, no, the owl is on your shoulder, so the owl is still on your shoulder. Yeet. Yeah. We gotta bring him. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I was like, yeah, the owl, I was gonna make him roll to see if he was in the swarm of spiders, but the owl is still on your shoulder. Um, Wouldn't so, an owl be flying? Well, I just, like, for resting, I assume the owl is gonna be on his shoulder and not flying all the time beside him. Oh. Especially in a cave. I just yeah. wouldn't be surprised if Diero had, like, a penguin, you know? It's a flightless bird. A flightless owl. Um, yeah. There are some actually. Ground owls are a thing. Um, anyway, um, that's that swarm's turn is it just sort of this milling about. <laughs> um, now it is Grom's turn to smash some spiders um, as he goes around. <laughs> uh, smacking some spiders, hacking away at them. Um, this swarm now too um with the two of you with your unarmed strikes being particularly effective in smushing large amounts of spiders um and uh grom just sort of blundering and stomping through the group um this this swarm as well is starting to get broken down to size now that the larger spider has um uh, been slain it seems the uh, cohesiveness of the swarm is dying down a little bit as this other swarm goes ahead and makes its attacks against um the first against the changeling, the second against, um, yeah, boy, Rick. Um, oh, missing Rick. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, um, the changeling taking, um, four points of damage. Um, <laughs> just sort of spinning around, slapping them away. Um, at this point, um, the top of the round as the changeling goes to start smashing the spiders now that the um large spider has been slain um the other spiders begin to <laughs> scuttle away um and the swarm stops and the um immediate threat as you sort of take the rest of your turns to smash a few extra spiders um the immediate danger um disappears as the spiders start to disperse um and there are still lots of spiders in this cave but they are not in an aggressive swarm. Whatever it was that bound them together um, in the death of the large one seems to have disappeared. Aha! Uh, Victorious! Oh I, I, need, oh. I need some help over here. Weak. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna continue oh. moving. Hold on. Oh, I've received... Oh, no. oh. Okay, just... Just, just leave Ranger Rick on the ground. Well, hold on. I've re oh, that was scary. Oh, I've received. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd really uh, appreciate if someone could help me. Uh, I'm bleeding out of my throat. I have yeah. received Battlefield Lifesaver training. Uh, Wait, are you incapacitated? No. He is currently wrong. looking pretty rough. Go ahead and make a medicine check, uh, Sam Shepard. Let's see if they taught me how to t treat these kinds of wounds here. Nope. Mm. He starts oh. binding your neck, and he does stem the bleeding, but you find it difficult to breathe. <laughs> he just my neck. does it a little bit too tight. Just a little bit too tight. Um, you are no longer bleeding out. Uh, but as Edwin comes up and just sort of like takes the tight bandage around your neck as your head starts to turn purple and just takes it apart 
loosens it, adds a bit more padding to where the blood is, and then carefully wraps it and tucks it in in such a way. Um, you've stemmed the bleeding. Um, well, I think I that. had it, but uh, if he dies, it's on your hands then. There you go. <laughs> Oh, mm. uh, uh, Ranger Rick, you, you could uh, stay on my uh, floating desk over there. It'll, you'll just be following me along. Uh, I can still walk. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Your floating uh, disc was very helpful back there, but... I'm gonna take a look down these hallways, or down these, these cave passages. Yeah. As you take a glance down as they're heal- as you, uh... As, as these weaklings are healing. Yeah. Um, um, let me just go ahead and do this. Do, These do, 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 air quotes. Do. Adventurers. I, I never once said that I was a. I'm a city watch member. I don't go. Oh, to we know you're city watch because you're basically useless. So why do you keep calling me an adventurer? All right. I believe he's giving you something. Uh, a teasing. Now listen. It just don't make no sense. His teasing. I've been teased before, but his teasing don't make no sense. I'm oh my. Hey, Danny. I'm just going to stop listening. Yeah, what's up? I, uh, my owl's got dark vision of 120. Oh, okay. Um, so as you step into the room <laughs> and glance out, and those rest of you guys go off that way. I was just seeing which way you guys are going. Um, as you guys go off that way and look into him, you see a large open chamber um, with a lake inside. The eyes that are carved into this room, as you've been seeing these motifs throughout, um, are all arranged in this weird web-like pattern above. And you see lots of spiders crawling throughout this room as well. None in like a large swarm, none particularly huge, just sort of like as like a background um, note. There's a lot of spiders in here. Um, But this web of eyes that comes across the top of the cavern here, and they're just like dripping globules of like from each of the eyes there's like little tiny bits of light that sort of drip off and into the pool and the pool has a faint bioluminescent glow to it um and there is some light in this room actually because of it you guys have it would be dim light throughout this room um as you guys glance in looking around it seems awfully strange looks at the carvings on the wall. I've never seen this kind of carving before. Let me have a look, Grom. <laughs> make a uh, make a history check. Glancing up, you um like you you know you've seen it somewhere. Hmm. Are you, are you guys trying to study something? Let, let me try. Let them. Oh. <laughs> now, Diero, in your research of the city, um, as you've getting ready to come here, um, you did a little bit of research into crime, and you know that, and crime just sort of like you, you're nervous. It's a big city shift. You know, you want to know like what are, is there? Is our gangs really a thing? Um, are they cool. Yeah. Um, so as you have been going through, <laughs> <Are they> cool. <laughs> are they cool? Uh, do I want to join one? No. Uh, as as you take a look around, there are a um, there there is a there was a crime group that was sort of like briefly mentioned. It's not one of the, it's not like the Boromar or the Dask or House Tarkinen or even the Tyrants, which are like the big name, you know crime families, crime syndicates, but there was a street gang known as The Eyes that has recently been doing some dark dealings having to do... You know, now that now that, now that you think of it, now that you sort of put it together, you know, there was some stuff about kidnappings. Um, There's sort of just like a offshoot of the Dask um, that was a bit more ritualistic. Um, exactly why still is uncertain because they're fairly new um, but you remember reading about it in the paper once um, Edwin you actually also are familiar with the eyes um, not because you've directly dealt with them but because of your background 
um, mm -hmm. dealing with criminal, criminal stuff. You are familiar that the eyes are an offshoot of the desk, and they have it. They have this strange obsession with um, not only the carvings of eyes, but they often tend to mutilate the bodies that they either kill or rob, and they usually kill the people they rob as well. Um, found without their eyes or with other eyes replacing where their eyes should be um or their bodies carved up with like tattoos of eyes carved into their flesh well pet we're dealing with the eyes this person's dead do you want a history lesson all that? are you so certain maybe we can uh it, we got to at least recover the body then I, if we go back empty-handed I do not think we will get our coin. And also, we can put her to rest. Bury her. Properly. That, that is one thing. The coin is another. Uh, honestly, I mean, if she's dead, she's dead. But I, I feel like I got to see it with my own two eyes just to uh, confirm it, you know? This just seems like a very strange thing for a group to do. Sort of glancing up around this large chamber um and it is an impressive like to thinking about how exactly they carved it like that someone would have had to have been walking along like climbing along the ceiling and like carving into um it's just a strange um it's an impressive act of not vandalism because it's like a natural cave system but like an impressive act of artwork that these eyes carved in the strange bioluminescent glow coming off of them Hmm. hmm. The group collectively. Hmm. Well. Hmm. hmm. Well, I don't down here. Yeah, I guess it don't look like she's in here. So I guess she's uh deeper in the cavern. So uh, how tall is the area right now, Danny? The area is about. I'd say the dome at its peak is probably about thirty feet tall right here. Uh, hey Franklin, do you mind doing a quick like overlook of that 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 that? Yeah, you got it. As he kind of flies up, Franklin, <sighs> silently. Um, I'd make the sound effect because it's a force of habit. But owls fly without sound. Yeah. Um, and flies <laughs> upward. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for. But um, you hated birds. Just because I hate them doesn't mean I don't know a lot about them. I'm a published ornithologist, Chris. Oh my lord. Please, <laughs> Louise. <laughs> Know thine enemy. Um, and speaking of knowing <laughs> know thine enemy, <laughs> <laughs> it also has advantage on uh, anything based on hearing or sight. That's perception. Really. Um, so with the twelve, um, there are a couple things it notices um, that are fairly apparent from this vantage point. Um, as it flies up towards the center, looking about the room, um, the eight or so strands of uh, strings of eyes that sort of make the like. You know how spider webs have the like lines that go through it the eight lines that go through this web of eyes on the ceiling all meet in the middle and glancing down into the um into the watery lake there is a dark object um at the base of it right in the center um, oh boy. and also as it sort of glances down sort of glances over um doing a full sweep of the room on this um side of the lake over here it flies over and takes note of a um just sort of like a ratty um just a ratty figure um laying on the ground over there just curled up behind a rock it's not hidden well it's just from your vantage point looking across the lake you can't see it but from above it's very obvious um there's a figure lying on the ground there um of course just sort of like of course and, there is yeah, just a figure lying on the ground. Um, uh, uh, what, what do you see, frankly? I'll kind of close my eyes and gain its sight. Yeah, you see these things for yourself. Um, uh, there, there's a body over there, but we frankly can't really see it. Uh, you want to go check it the out? The body, the body, I will cl clarify further since this is at least obvious. The body is of a humanoid um, of a short, like it appears to be a gnomish individual. Like the gnome handmaiden that is missing <laughs> huh. the handmaiden you believe to be not gnomish um oh, although he didn't actually specify 
You were given very little information about why you're going here. Classic. Uh, as, Fra as Franklin flies over closer to the body, I'll kind of be relaying to the group. Oh, there, there's there's something kind of uh, really suspicious in the in the lake. Um, uh, I don't I don't know. Uh, there's all these eyes. They're all connected in the middle. Uh, it seems like a really bad trap, but but Franklin's got this. Can I run on water? What do you mean? <laughs> not yet. Like we should not go near did you just ask the group if you could no. run on water? No, that, that is out of character. <laughs> I'm putting it up for a, for a, uh, a vote. I, what do you guys I think? Because I can just... ten gold. You can't. Because <laughs> I can dash. I can. I can move eighty feet. <laughs> so, speed of light uh, on land. So. Uh, uh, oh wait, actually, I could actually probably jump right here. Uh, because yeah. how does how what, what what's the jump mechanic? Uh, the jump mechanic is a long jump. It's equal to your strength score. Because my jump distance is doubled. So it's your strength score times two is the number of feet you can jump in a long jump. Like, my strength score or like, like your the, strength score okay like the number the big number okay because i was gonna be like that's negative one <laughs> so, <laughs> so if no. i jump do i just get pushed into the ground you jump forward and just like <laughs> what it just like some weird quantum force pulls okay you so through. i can jump 18. the hand of god holds you back hey that's i could do that So the question is, do we got to go? Did you? Did, well, first, did you tell us in character about the. Uh... The, the body? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's up to, it's up to my owl. Uh, how's he looking? Oh, so you so you <laughs> sent the owl over to the body. That's what you're saying. Yeah. OK, so as you guys are having this discussion, uh, the owl um, who's not named Alfred, although I do want to call him Alfred. Alfred, holy Franklin. crap. <laughs> Franklin. Um, that's a little inside joke for just Max and Andrew. Um, but <laughs> as uh, the owl flies over the lake and lands on the other side, um, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Um, the owl. I was going to say, roll charisma so that they interact. I was like, please don't make him talk. Um, the owl gets roll. shot out of the sky. <laughs> oh, no, roll a what, Danny? Uh, investigation check. Investigation doesn't have all the traits, but I uh, it's just an intelligence check. The owl lands on the ground silently and sort of like walks over towards this gnomish individual. This gnome appears to be slightly balding um, and is slightly balding. Um, just sort of like looks a bit downtrodden. Um, you can see um, in his hand as he's lying down, like trying to play dead. Um, it's very apparent that he's not dead um, as he's breathing sort of shallowly and just sort of like glancing. His eyes are like peering over across the lake at all of you guys. Um, and he's just sort of like nervously looking, doesn't notice the owl approach. Um, as he's doing this, he sort of nervously you watch him sort of grab something out of a wrist pocket um, and just goes It goes what? Snort oh. some stuff up his nose <laughs> Oh, okay, He's doing confirm. drugs! That better not be a narcotic I kind of whispered to the group I think there's a gnome over there doing drugs Do we just want to ignore him? Uh, uh... <laughs> It, like you mean to tell me that that man is alive oh, that yeah. corpse yeah yeah shh, shh, shh. he's just watching us right now yeah he's slightly balding that's that's the other thing i noticed like he's breathing he just snorted something he snorted something what did he snort oh boy big bad city watch guard about to go chase down a man for putting something in his nose uh uh if, if you really want to find out you should you should go over there if you can uh, go, go, over. how? There's a bunch of fucking water. Um, just, just jump. There's, there's a gap right over here. Should we call out? All right, all right, hold on. Do you this... not know how to swim? As uh, 
Uh, I'd prefer not to get wet. I uh, mean, I, 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 like, I feel like that's just like a normal thing. Should we like, just call out to him? Oh, just go, hold on. I'll, I will walk over to this little thing. Hey, guy, <laughs> we know you're awake. So ah! just, uh... Ah! And he sort of jumps back behind the rock so you can't see him. Howdy, friend. <coughs> I'm not. I'm not anyone's friend. Oh. So you're an enemy? No, no, not that either. Just uh, who, who are who are you all? Who are you all with? Oh, uh, we're with each other. Uh, we're yeah. looking for a. <laughs> <laughs> but not in the romantic sense. We are here on a job. <laughs> we're just friends. <laughs> Uh, well, at least for now. We'll see. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> he sort of glances over, turns around, sees the owl that's right behind him, ah! <laughs> jumps backwards, as now you guys all see him. Um, Edwin, you immediately recognize him. Um, this is Morden. Um, oh! <laughs> this is Morden. Um, he is a gnomish individual, balding, brownish hair that is he, he's very young to be balding um but uh he sort of like sits back as his like youthful face is now very apparent there are some like pock marks on his neck and his hands are a little bit scratched up um but he is standing there sitting there before you it's been the first time you've seen him in a long while as he glances out across the way oh, wait, wait morden is that you and what the fuck are you doing down here god damn it what, so, what is what do you mean? What am I doing down here? You're the one over there Wait, on your little you island. Know each other? Oh, yeah, we know this, each other. We grew up together. This guy. I grew up with this guy. Why are you talking to, to who are you talking to Morden? I don't know. I, there's a lot of people in here. I was, I was kind of, I wasn't expecting. Whoa. It sort of like takes a step back and he visibly calms down after for a second. Whoa. Yeah. That was just a, it was just a weird yeah no i've just been having a hell of a time edwin it's just been it's been rough it's been rough uh yeah uh but i came down here just to find uh glancing over uh, looking at the group of a lot of people he doesn't know I, I just came down here to get away from uh get away i was got r running i was oh, you, you were you needed some quiet time i got you i, I yeah, understand. yeah 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 but it turns out there's some crazy the eyes are down here, and I'm looking up, like, seeing the eyes. I really should have put that together, but, uh, you yeah, know, well, something... what, what, what gave it away? Was it the eyes carved into the ceiling or the well, the well, eyes carved into the ceiling? Uh, Edwin, when you got, when, you, when you're dealing with, uh, as he sort of, like, indicates a little, like, he does a little, like, a little, like, little hand signal to indicate, uh, when you're doing a little, uh, you know, it, it, it sometimes, it gets away from you. Um, but, no, yeah, it's gotten no. away from you, all right. Now get yeah, over here. Oh man, I just I've been over here. I've been trying to avoid the. There's this weird. There's these weird creatures that are running around in here. Uh, Spiders. No, ah, they're like weird dog people. What? I take offense to that. What? No, no, not 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 dog. Not like. <laughs> sort of like visibly. Like, no, no, no. Takes a step into the water. Not like you. As he starts walking around the edge here. Um. Not like you, and he has to like swim because he. Oh, this is this is not him. This is. I was gonna say there's no bird. there's no token there. <laughs> Let's see, let me let me give let me give him a token. Um, uh, let me give him a token. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'll say to Edward. Hey, hey, does your does your friend know uh what's at the bottom of this lake? Probably not. Oh. Uh, I would go out. Find out. I it would not be a hard stretch. Like it just, I just no. I prob probably not. She starts to swim, bobbing over um, to you, uh, Sam. Top of the top of the morning to ya. Uh, top of the morning to you. And it sort of shuffles on past you, just sort of like shakes his arms off. Well, well, well. As, he, as he's walking up, he does have a little bit of a strut in his walk, like he uh, knows where he's going and he likes walking there. I don't know. He's just got that confidence that this does not match his uh, appearance at all this sort of like grayish skin that's been uh scratched to all hell um on his hands his face is impeccable his face is like 
perfectly manicured somehow. But like his arms and his uh, his arms and his neck, there's some there's some scratch marks. There's some uh, it just is not he does not have good skin quality um, everywhere except his face. Um, Morden, you look some... shitty as hell. Hey, as so usual, you're the one who's covered in fur. What? Okay. All right. He's... <laughs> All right. I'll remember you gotta that. Take a razor to those chops, and he goes up. He goes up and sort of uh, just don't touch my foot. I, I can't. I'm down here. Um, <laughs> Back he's away. Like, he's like two feet. He's like two and a half feet tall. Like there's a five foot discrepancy, and I'm telling him to yeah. back away. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. He takes a couple steps back. Well, where did you find this exciting group of people? Are you coming down here? Did someone get hire you to clear out the eyes or something like that? That'd be nice. Uh, no, we're been looking causing all sorts of trouble. We're looking for our, our client's maid was was a kidnapped. Kidnapped. Yeah. Well, I was abroad down here earlier, but she seemed to be in on it all. Oh, that's not good. They came oh, over here. That's why I, I was sitting down here, you know, and he just he was sitting down here. Just, you know, uh, you can't see. Just, the, the just you know, just, the, 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 just, just, you know, just enjoying you know, the water, just enjoying the uh, the fine scent of the water, if you know what I mean. Um, and uh, I heard a noise behind me that wasn't a spider. So I swam across to hide on the other side. Uh, and this this woman comes in with these two guys. Um, and the one guy is a Kanku, real short, um, just sort of starts chanting something in a weird language I never heard before. And the other guy is like, I don't know, I don't know if we should do this. And she's like, oh no, yeah, we gotta do this, we gotta do this. Um, and so she like pushes the guy in the water. The Kanku's still chanting something crazy. It's so weird to see those little birds say something, you know, it, it's just so unsettling. Um, but then the guy gets chubbed into the water and then this like weird thing happens and all the eyes start glowing and then he just sort of like erupts into like this weird bulbous mound of like gelatinous eyeball junk and she's like oh great we love it happens again and he, like takes all the eyeball junk out of the water and puts it in a bag and it just disappears like it's like 10 pounds of like 10 cubic feet of eyeball junk she just shoves in this bag crazy and yeah, then she just walks away. Morden, what what did the what did the kinku look like? Besides kinku? a bird. Well, uh, <laughs> he's, you could tell he was about to say just like a bird, um, and he just uh, it was uh, I mean, short, got a big beak, uh, wearing a little cloak, kind of looked cute before it started chanting in some weird tongue I didn't recognize. Hmm, I wonder if this is the Kanku I ran into earlier. I mean, it's a big city. Yeah, I didn't get a good enough look at him, but I chased him down for a bit there. Not all Kankus know each other, God damn it! When you think you get enough stuff for being a shifter, you're gonna just go around and group all, all right, the little, people little, together. All right, little, little, all right, all right, Goblin. Okay, hey. Goblin, let's calm down here. I just, I just, hey. just like put my hand on his head and just, <laughs> just, boop. He, he he like punches your shins a little bit. Um. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you're sticking with us. We're down a crew. Oh, I, we're, no, we're down. No, we're down no, a member. No, no, no. Uh, no, I don't think that. What do you? Well, we lost. We lost Grom, and I point to Grom. And we we lost Grom's brother back there. So. Oh, jeez. So you're with us oh. now. Wait, wait. You I'm see us through. You'll give you. You'll get paid as well. Look at. Oh, wait. What? They're saying you get paid for this? Yeah. What was it? Like 150, 250 gold. 250 gold. There you go. Well, geez, well, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say I'm as useful as uh, this guy as he goes over to Grom and just sort of like bops Grom's calf, which is like half the size of him. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll do what I can, I guess. Uh, just I'll just be, I'll, I'll watch out. He goes over and there's a spider on the ground and he steps on it. I'll just watch out for the spiders, yeah. Yeah, and you're gonna be traveling in the center of the group with us. No oh, wandering yeah. off, Morden. Oh, okay, yeah, no worries, no worries, no worries about it. Uh, yeah. All right, brave big city watch guard. Let's go. Lead the way. 
You master what? adventurer. What? Oh, no, master. Master, is that like a code? He's a master something. What's a guy gotta do? That? Yeah, master beta. <laughs> oh, Morden. It's completely natural. It's all natural, baby. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Let, let's just continue down this pathway here, guys. Wait, wait. Did you just say he was a city watchman? Yep. Nope. Why are you walking around with a city watchman, Edwin? I thought you were cool. A job's a job. Edwin, weren't you the one to say to keep that stuff on the down low? Like, jeez. We're in a cave. Uh, practice what you preach. Uh, practice what you preach. So he's a city watchman, and he gives a big wink and, like, elbows you in the knee, uh, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watching your pocketbook get fatter, huh? What does he mean? My pocketbook stays nice and fit wait 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 it turns around and looks at you uh diero you telling me you don't know that city watch is the most corrupt god system in the entire kingdom you didn't know that oh samuel uh this boy he's oh, he's got the young he's got that young uniform on samuel. you know he's go you know he's gonna be getting those pockets fat once he gets out from under the thumb of that well, whoever's in charge of him now now, oh, now, now. For it. now, now, now. I'm not like other gods. Uh, okay, okay. Not like other gods. No, you're not even close to being a god. Are hey. you? You speak common. I said god. I, I, I know. You're not a god. Yeah, what you are clearly no means a deity. It does I'm sound like god. you're saying god. I'm a god. You're, you're not a <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm a god. <laughs> but you're not. You can say it all you want. It doesn't make you want. No, no Did one worships you. Did you guys all take a massive fall and get collectively get brain damage while I was gone? When I was going across the lake? Jeez, I'm a god. I thought we'd been over this. You keep I, calling me one. He's, his accent, I believe, is confusing you. Yeah, he keeps saying that he's a god. He's, he's not a deity. Oh, you guys can't understand accents. Okay, I, I'm a I'm a guard. Oh yeah, no, we know that you're a city guard. That's why yeah. I've been making fun of you this entire time. Yeah, yeah. We okay. Listen, Edward, we've been through this. But as as you say that, <laughs> as you as you're joking, as you walk around the next corner, um, <laughs> Morden elbows you a little bit. It, it, it whispers in your towards you well not in your ear he's too short yeah, to do I was that, gonna say but... how's he <laughs> gonna scoop him up and put him on my shoulder he tugs a hold of you so you like come so you come down a little bit is he uh wait it, it, for real though is he the kind of god that was gonna look twice when i uh do a little uh you know we should probably avoid that for a little bit right now not because he would do anything but because we don't right, know what's right, down right, here right 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 i'm cool yeah i don't i don't need i don't need i don't need anything yeah it's cool it's cool. And then, uh, Morden, I'm looking right at him. Quiet. Hey, what, what's up? <laughs> if there's any issues, he's a new guard in a deep cave. Things happen. Right, 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 yeah. yeah that's cool. Cool. Nice to see ya. It's good to see you too. It's been too long. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Hey, you with the owl? Ah! As he sort of hops up towards you, um, how did how did how do you train that owl to do them cool tricks? Well, I mean, he, he and I have been friends for for quite some time, and well, he, he just kind of kind of does it. He just listens to me. He's he's actually my familiar. Uh, You're new to the city, aren't you? Aren't you, kid? Uh, is it obvious? Or? Yeah, walk with me. You're gonna go a long way. Yeah, I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna show you the ropes. <laughs> Hero, I'll show you what's up. What, only what, listen what? to about a half, maybe a quarter of what Morden says. Look, look, I'm telling you. Morden, who are you in trouble with now? I don't know what you're implying. I'm just trying to be a hospitable citizen of really Shah. I appreciate you. Yeah, who, 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 who is your latest debt to now? Who, who are you running look, from that look, brings look. you down to a cave in the base of a crypt in I the don't bottom? Got no with nobody. Uh huh. Burnt okay. Up. All right. Okay. As he shouts this out loud, um, you guys hear a, um, 
and some sounds coming from this direction. You hear the sounds of footsteps. Um, oh. Hey, Ranger, you uh, got any ideas? Are you... <laughs> Ranger man. <Zoom. laughs> Ra Ranger man. Hey, hey man who, who, who tracks Howdy. creatures. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I can try to do that. Uh, I can try to. Can I uh, try to track this person? See what the fuck I can find. Well, I mean, see what the heck I can find. Yeah, you can. You can. You can take. You can take a look around the corner. You just heard some like footsteps movement, and now as you guys approach and see, you hear um, now a voice chanting um, in the distance. Just sort of repeats, just sort of repeats a little bit. What language is that? really epic, real. That was like a, you know, a horn of. For a moment. That was like the horn of war right there. All right, uh, well, this don't sound great. So, uh, I'll just keep this nice and handy and I'll pull out my light crossbow. Hey, Morden, is this, is this what you were hearing earlier? It's something similar. Uh, I'm not too much, I'm not really a fan of this. Uh, not really a fan of this at all. All right, guys, how do we want to proceed? Going fast and hot. Take them all down. What? Please, you're sick you're not you're not a god. I don't know what you you keep. <laughs> well, I never once in my plan did I say I, I was the god. Uh, can Ranger Rick see what's making this noise? He would like to try to see Glancing, there appears to be an antechamber with some stairs that go upward into another room, and the angle is just in such a way you can't really, you'd have to climb the stairs to really get a look. Um, Can he, I, I think Ranger Rick would uh, like to try to sneak uh, and try to get a look. So as you guys sort of pile into this area, um, some chanting happening beyond. Go ahead and roll a stealth check, Ranger Rick, as you approach even closer. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to approach closer as well, so I will roll. Anybody yeah. approaching up behind Ranger Rick, go ahead and roll a stealth check. Um, oh, and my sort owl of... will. Okay. I'm not so going to Rick... continue as far, but I'm just kind of... Yeah. So just so you know, there is stairs. So, like, you can't... There's The wall line is here. You have to go around up the stairs. I'm positioning um, myself at the bottom of the stairs here. Yep. yep, yep. So go ahead and position yourself as you peek in around the corner. Um, the owl slipping up and above. The chanting and just this deep resonant that sort of starts to now echo through the chambers. Um, Ranger Rick, as you glancing around, go ahead and roll a perception check. Uh, the owl can also roll a perception check because you are both able to peek around without making too much. Also, Sam Shepard, as you poke, as you basically the owl at the top, and the other two boys <laughs> do the old um, Scooby Doo. Sam Shepard, unfortunately, you just get a, a bunch of his sneakers. Um, oh, just for reference, I tell Morton to stay next to me as well. He's not scooting out in the back here. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. For me, guy. His stealth roll was a one. So you see him as he's trying to sneak away as you guys are Morning. approaching. Get over here. What? what? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, fine. 250 um, gold to pay off your debts, which I know you have. Yeah, yeah. I can't pay off my debts if I'm dead. Um, and as you glance over into the chamber, um, you get a little bit of a look. See, as I move stuff from the GM info overlay to the layer it needs to be on, um, you see this small Kenku in brown robe, arms outstretched, chanting loudly um, as this thing that should wings. be in a different... <laughs> yeah. Um, Anti-bird, rubber. Anti-bird. Um, as standing in the middle of this room, this large pot um, that is coated in blood um, and just like is covered in like literal physical eyes like large ones they look to be from some sort of they have to be they'd have to be from like a whale or a 
or a squid, something huge, something with big, fleshy eyes. It'd have to be. Um, you've never seen anything quite like it. Um, also, with your third, with the owl can see um, sitting off in the corner on one of the coffins, um, a female uh, woman is just sort of cloaked casually, sitting there, just like. <sighs> Glancing over towards the, um, glancing over at the entranceway, um, with the angle, it doesn't appear to have noticed you, um, it doesn't appear to have noticed any of you, um, but she's just sort of glancing past the Kenku as the chanting continues, um, and the, the eyes on this urn start to blink rapidly. Oh, I'll relay this info as I'm seeing it through the owl to, hey, 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 when they're there. There's things in there. There's there's a, there's a giant pot with blood. There's a lady. Uh, there's a there's a bird man. Uh, ready to attack. Okay. On one, two, three. Whoa! Oh, get down! Oh, yo! <laughs> Wait, he double. Oh my gosh! Okay, so who are you shooting at, Ranger Rick? Uh, the the guy covered in eyes. Oh, you, the, the one I the, can see. The urn. So the urn is covered no, the, in the eyes. The person. The, sorry, the person. I thought the Kenku. The, the Kenku yeah, chanting. Yes. Go ahead and deal That's damage, amazing. Sam. Who are you? One, at? two, uh, three. I double net twenties. I am actually uh, shooting at the Kenku. Uh, I am yelling that I am from the city god. <laughs> there are no, the city at, doesn't I'm, have I'm gods. At them to show their hands, but I'm still gonna fire. So go ahead and deal damage uh, you as well, Sam Shepard. So as Ranger Rick takes a step back onto your hand, since you're at the bottom of the pile, your hand twists up and the crossbow bolt twang. Go ahead and make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw for your owl. <laughs> what would you do, yeah, The owl just gets pinned to the ceiling. Ah, fuck, you stepped on my goddamn head. <laughs> The owl looking down, just oh, um, and just sort of <laughs> squoosh to the side as the feather just like it's just like set. It's like half of its wing feathers just just get bluffed off of its off of its body. Um, I will say its flying speed is halved because um, it lost all of its wing feathers until you bamf it out and back again. Um, but uh, I will say since since uh, Ranger Rick did say attack, it will start like flying towards the uh, the guy. Cool. Um, as it starts flying towards you guys, your attacks go out immediately. The woman, what? And the Kenku glances back and blood <laughs> blossoming out of its like uh, out of its uh, beak just finishes the last. <laughs> the urn. <sighs> starts to shift and the eyes start to grow and swarm as this strange creature starts to grow up out of the uh, urn behind. We're yes. so young. Get it. It has come. She has graced us with a gift. As the urn morphs and transforms into this horrific creature, uh, this warped, disgusting wart covered intestine made man the eyes meld and mesh into this weird goopy flesh arms start to come up out of it legs bulbous and covered in pupils um its legs its other leg bony crawling out of the top of this urn the eyes morphing up onto it as its weird arms start to like slop out um and just move with an unnatural tentacle-like motion that's very uncomfortable. Um, this strange creature, um, which I now must grab from this area. Um, doop. I'm going to make him the right size. Doop. Oh. Comes up out of the urn as the Kenku <coughs> coughs up a little bit of blood um, and is not looking good at all. Um, but as that, the surprise being over, um, go ahead and let me find my turn order. Um, delete all these boys and roll initiative um, as I find. Oh, my goodness. Can nice. I make it's three natural ones in a row? You should probably just roll a new character. 
Dang. Uh, let me. Oh, so we can work this there we go. Right. Cool, so, cool. So this is definitely one of Belushira's creatures. That's good. Yeah. So initiative. Um, as I now get the rest of my dudes. I guess Alex can fly so far. <laughs> uh, I'm just setting stuff up for a second. Just a second. Where good, is Good it? shot, by the way, Ranger Rick. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, that's totally out of character. My character can definitely not see that. <laughs> I'm hiding. My owl might say it. <laughs> Franklin the owl. Fucking hand. Your hand? My fucking hand. He stepped on it. No one stepped on your hand. You just suck. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger Rick nearly spit up his water. <laughs> you want to see how to shoot an arrow? Look at how Ranger Rick just absolutely obliterated that tiny. Okay. Kanku. Kanku, Gloaked Woman, and Rudderkin, and now I need all my NPCs who are all back here. <laughs> Come hither. Oh god, it's a Rudderkin. How many are there? Only one? Okay. Just the one. All right. Um, as oh, no. the changeling now. This. No, that, that, that's very important that there's only one. I, that's um, all I will say. And also, I will now no add this guy to represent... Um, Big bad. <laughs> Is this is this where we all die? Mm -hmm. uh, oh yes, the confidence. I love. Uh, uh, we'll be fine. I mean, like he's gonna hurt. Okay, so as the Kanku basically dead at this point, um, I did if I rolled and shift for everybody. Telling me 30 wasn't enough to kill him. <laughs> um, 30? Yeah, it was critical. Uh, it's uh, 15. That's what the extra D8 is. The plus number. Oh. Uh, I mean, the crits that... Uh, the way that it automatically rolls crits is it will roll the damage dice again. Um, uh, if, if you want to do it the other way, you have to set it up. Otherwise, I'm going to assume it's um, the thing that automatically happens. <sighs> Never mind. Yeah. Still 15 points of damage. C clearly, it is not, it is on a knee, like it is on its last legs. Um, as, why is my turn order being funky? I'm just going to open and close it again. Have you tried turning it on and off? That, that literally is what I just did. <laughs> um, uh, hey, you have a job uh, in IT. There you go. Yeah, basically. Um, Diero. <laughs> Um, as you, your owl, um, flown forward now, uh, right up in the space, you do not have a visual on anything except for the owl's eyes. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, if I, if I do this, oh wait, um, if I do this correctly, I can cast a spell, a touch spell through the owl, right? Yes, you can. All right, sweet. Chill touch it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, Franklin, do the thing. Franklin lands on the Kenku's head and casts K Chill Touch as the Kenku glancing up <coughs> and uh, the Ken uh, go ahead and deal damage. As uh, the Kenku um, in a voice totally different from the other one it was using just goes, oh shit, and then dies. <laughs> <laughs> as it falls over, um, frozen just <coughs> the blood crystallizing and freezing its jaw shut um, as it expires upon the ground. Good job, Franklin. <laughs> uh, so that's you, um, Diero, as you run up, rush up and now are standing beside um, Rick and uh, 
Rick and Sam, who is currently on the ground, clutching his hand in a little bit of pain. Rick, um, as your arrow lands true, felling the Kenku just as he finishes his incantation, um, you see the woman sort of stand upright, alert. What would you like to do? Oh, I forgot to give her a turn. That's what it was. Sorry. Um, yeah, go ahead and go. do that in case it goes before me. Nope. Continue. Cool. Uh, it's not first, a commoner. I just use the same character sheet. <laughs> first things first. Hunter's mark. Uh, that ignore the damage. Uh, I meant to use the spell facts. Uh, right. <laughs> Hunter's there mark. We go. Uh, on that big disgusting thing uh, that I Got see, you. and then I will attack again with my longbow. Gotcha. Nice, that definitely hits. Cool. So do that. And then then, then we'll use uh, that, that Hunter's Mark damage uh, in there. Nice. As you reach out, vines grasping from the base, from the ceiling, vines come down and just sort of drip onto um, the rudderkin like ropes that then lasso around it like snakes. Um, as it condenses, uh, contracts, and the rudderkin oh, takes fuck? 11 points of damage. Um, Very juicy. That was. Let's. let's... Let's agree to never do those noises again. <laughs> that's the sound that they make. Um, that's you, dear. <clears throat> that was you, Rick. Sorry. The changeling um, seeing this thing. Oh, yeah, that is. Ah. It's sort of glancing up, um, and it's going to. <sighs> He's going to grit his teeth, transform his appearance into that of a. Um, that of a very like muscular man um and just sort of like fuck it let's go um and jump up climbing up using some movement to do so and it's gonna rush into the battle um only making it to about there um not quite getting up just go gonna make his way action to dash to get action to dash to get towards the commoner um so what's he's gonna do edwin as the changeling walks up and rushes through what would you like to do I'm gonna pick up Morden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I can make it there easily. Okay. I'm going to pick up Morden and then move into battle. I'm not even getting Morden. I'm, I'm just picking him up. <laughs> well, let's go, Morden. Okay. Um, so let me just change this to so I can make myself feel better. Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, you pick up Morden. Um, wait, 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 no, I don't know. Oh, God. As you run in. Oh, gee, what, what is that thing? Let's see. Uh, how uh, do I get inhibited by carrying him? You do get a little bit. I mean, I mean, size I move, so I move 40 feet. So am I looking at like. You, you have a movement of 30 feet, um, okay. considering his size, um, your abilities. Also, so. your strength is fairly low. Otherwise, it wouldn't be, but because your strength is low. All right. I really mm -hmm. just want to toss Morden. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, put me down. Put me down. What is that thing? <laughs> All right, Morden. Sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to toss him at him. Oh dear God! I forgot to roll this shit for morning. Oh. I'm just, just yeah. rugby we'll toss say, Morton. And technically, since his initiative is actually exactly the same as you, go ahead and roll the athletics check. Uh, Amazing. Oh boy! <laughs> you chuck him <laughs> on the ground. Wow. He falls prone in front of the Renekin, um, taking. <laughs> Three points of bludgeoning damage as you just <laughs> chuck him into the earth. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god, so good. And he looks up at this creature. <laughs> just like vomits all over it. Oh god! It's uh, now just covered in like globules of like jellied eye and <laughs> junk that comes out of this creature. <laughs> I hate you, Edwin! <laughs> um, <laughs> That went ahead. worse than I expected. Oh wait, <laughs> can I, can I, can I, let's see. So I moved. I had an action. Uh, 
Let's see. You hold on. Block him? You know. That's not what I Chuck wanted. Chuck was your action. I, I don't th believe you. You can take a bonus action to. Uh, you can spend a key point as a bonus action to do some things if you'd like to. Um. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'll use my I'll, I'll use my key to follow with a fury of blows. You cannot do that because your action wasn't actually an attack action. Oh, I mean, I threw an object at the creature. You also aren't in range of a creature to attack, so. All right. Well, then in that case, I will. <laughs> I will just hold. Okay. So you just hold. Wait. Um, as you chuck him down, Morden, I hate you, Edwin, is going to go ahead and make his war pick attack. Um, as he pulls out this little tiny, it's a shiv, basically. Um, as he goes out, ah, it just misses horribly. Um, I tried. As he just sort of like swings outward, just like on the ground, upward at this creature, the rudder can just like, whoa, whoa. Um, yep. That's what's happening with him. Um, it is now, uh, uh, uh Franklin. Yeah, Franklin's turn. Why, Franklin? Why? Distract him from the embarrassment. <laughs> and he is taking the... Which action? The Harry, the bother action? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Help. Wait, you literally, have a, you literally have an action called bother where he just flies at the person? Yeah. <laughs> the help action. He the uh, he gives people advantage if he's giving the help action. Lord Almighty. Um, let me actually look at that to see if it gives everyone advantage, or if it just gives the next attack advantage. It does would would be pretty intense. Yeah, that's what. On the next attack, I believe. On the yeah. That's why I want to check. When you take the help action, get a next. Uh, yep, next. Yep, yep, yep. Distract, bother, bird noises. Yeah. Um. So as the owl is going about doing that, um, this cloaked woman now staring at the changeling, um, goes um, glances over at him. I think that you are going to help me now and is going to make him make a wisdom saving throw. Nice. As you wish. And he turns to face the group. Now I'll be leaving. Have a fun time. And she stands up, waves at uh, you, Edwin, winks, and disappears. Now this this strange Rudderkin creature, um, looking at this gnome chucked to his feet. <laughs> and it's going to go ahead and make a bite attack against him. Oh, oh I'm going to kill Morden. <laughs> that was exactly as many HP as he had left. <laughs> But as he's dying, he needs to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, which he succeeds. So it does not turn into an abyssal wretch. Um, which is good. Um, uh, but he is now unconscious on the ground in front of the Rudderkin. As the Rudderkin picks him up and just... And I'll say, actually, since it's a small creature, the Rudderkin just picks him up and shoves him down his throat, and you watch the Rudderkin's body just bulge slightly as there's now this weird gnome-shaped lump growing out of where, like, just underneath the armpit. Um, <laughs> as it now is going to... You don't see him anymore. And he is going to now move forward towards you. Um, yep. Um, so that's his turn. Um, Sam Shepard. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my hand. Watch what? this giant monster eat one of the people that was in the party. What would you like to do? Oh, oh, God. Oh, stop that. Don't 
Uh, that does just hit. Stop that. Wow. 11 points of damage to it. 12 points. Whoa. I can do math. Um, Yo, 11 plus one. Damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a lot of ones and I knew it wasn't 111. <laughs> so I was like, 11. There's only a couple options here. <laughs> There's only a few options. Um, and I picked the wrong one. Um, so as you twang, the arrow penetrates straight into the Redican's body. Um, right above the bulge where the gnome is. Um, not in it, but right above it. And you just think for a second, oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, God. It won't die. Grom, glancing over, I, all things will die. <laughs> Including my brother. <laughs> he now <laughs> rushes <laughs> forward. <laughs> um, the Redrican has now advanced, which allows him to get into combat with it if he succeeds this athletics check to climb up that little hill. He succeeds the athletics check to climb up that little hill. Um... So he is going to go ahead and make his axe attacks. <laughs> and he chops right into the gnome. No! <laughs> Wait, right no! As, I see him, as I see him swing, I'm gonna I'm gonna shift time remembering that. I was like, oh he just got eaten and I was like, oh no, don't, don't do that. Okay, okay, okay. So you shift time and the axe just like you guys feel just like you swear to God, uh, Edwin, you watch this axe embed itself right into the gnome that was inside the Redicate's body. Um, but then you start Are we like, playing oh. with the Prince of Persia right now? Did he just break a sand crystal? <laughs> basically, basically, you watch as you just like, you saw that reality, but that reality is no more. As now, um, Grom makes his uh, attack for the first time this round. Oh, and um, in, in uh, Diero's head, he's thinking to himself, I know I could have done that like when the creature ate the child or the gnome, but like, hey, I I I'm new at this. <laughs> um, and because actually, um, the first attack against this creature has advantage, um, ah, uh, no, I'm gonna rule it this. I I'm gonna say he misses the first attack. Um, just good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Right back in the morning! <laughs> it's fate. <laughs> it's meant to be. No! I, will say, I don't care if I can use it twice. It has. I, I will say, I will say, um, since I sort of mucked it up a little bit because technically the owl was giving advantage of the first strike, but I like this better. <laughs> so no! I'm gonna say he chops in. It deals critical damage, but it also hits Morden. Um, no! <laughs> Wait, you so can Morden... use the chrono shift twice! No, so Morden t fails two death saving throws. He's currently inside uh. a Rudderkin at two death saves. Um, and the Rudderkin with, uh, the Rudderkin actually dies with 14 point, 13 points of damage. Um, so chopping through, chopping through the Rudderkin and also Morden, the runner can slops to the ground and loses its ability to stand as Grom, just like with the power of time on his side, um, just like, really. and the owl like grabs the runner kid, pulls him up and slashes him in half, slashes the runner kid in half as Grom, yeah, um, looks down at Morden, who now just like slops out of the body. Oh God. Um, covered in just a horrible film of mucus and eyeballs. Um, it's the boy. Grom, you better be able to save him right now. Grom looks at you, looks at a morning. Oh, uh, Diero, it's your turn. Uh, the Redderkin just died. Um, yeah, um, it looks like- That means we're done with the combat. Yeah, it looks like combat's done. What would you like to do, Diero? Uh, I mean, I'll go, I'll go help out um, Morden. Cool. Um, Rick, what you up to? Rick. Oh, uh, sorry. As you as you uh, help Morden, go ahead and make a medicine check. Please be okay. I'm not a doctor. You sort of grab Morden and pull him out of the rest of the Rudderkin and drop him a little bit. Um, he also another does saving throw. He is in no, no way helped by this situation. <laughs> um, and you just start sort of holding him there. That's your turn. Rick, what are you up to? 
Oh, uh, well, not seeing any immediate threats. Uh, Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. Ranger cool. Rick will enter the room and just kind of will look around the room and make sure it is all clear and nothing <laughs> else uh, is there. Uh, make a perception check. You take your action to make a perception check. Glancing around the room, there doesn't appear this urn is still there, although no longer covered in eyes. It's just now a large red urn. Um, you do see um, Nephi walking towards the group. Um, and as you just notice him pull his daggers out behind Grom, um, you have your bonus action and a little bit of movement left. Um, I see. I see Nephi pull his daggers out. Behind Grom. He's like walking towards the group and pulling his daggers out. Um. I, I will draw my bow. Since I can't attack him, I'll draw my bow. I will change my hunter's mark to him uh, mm. and shout towards the group. Or shout at Nephi. Drop him. As the hunter's mark. <laughs> Latches a crotch front rushes <laughs> latches a crotch. Slashes a crotch. <laughs> Just like the vine where I like to target. <laughs> the vines shoot straight off of this runner kid's amorphous form. Straight in the nuts of of Nevi. Um and he's now basically wearing a thong of vines. <laughs> oh my um, god, come on. <laughs> I said it, it had to happen. Um that is now just like Clenching. Stop, um, we're good. <laughs> we just got a different rating, man. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, cut that part. Um, but can we cut part? Uh, no. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> it's live. We'll, we'll change it in edits. We'll change it in edits. <laughs> hey, Lord. You, well, any listeners, just, just unhear that. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got major MBMBA mem vibes. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Danny, let me just do one of those, you know? Oh my For god. What? Nothing. Oh, oh to continue. Yeah, to, anyway, um, as you switch to Hunter's Mark, everybody can take note of the vines as they move, um, as you glance up um, and see um, the changeling now daggers out approaching Grom just a second too late as he does get behind Grom and stab. Um, uh, does the second one hit? Why, yes, it does. Grom has shit AC. Eight points of piercing damage as Grom takes a knee. No! Turning around as the daggers plunge into his back, the oh, changeling's wait, face. Attack him twice. On the first attack, I'll, I'll let that go through so that like we know that it's dangerous, and then the second one, I'm actually going to do the chrono shift. Oh, on the second one? Yeah. Okay. So he has to roll that again in, uh... Please don't be worse. God, God damn it. <laughs> Um, yeah. Use the result of the second roll. Um, still dealing, um... I can reroll the damage if you want me to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I see that the second attack hits, and I'm like, Why? <laughs> what could you see? Um, okay, you take a step forward and just uh, move Grom aside and with your Mark of the Sentinel, with an uncanny speed, you instead take the four points of damage from the second attack um, as you swap places with him. No more people need to die. <laughs> Mort is not the dead yet! So you take the dagger, you all turn, Edwin, you turn and note, Morden at your feet, um, you just see this, the gnome, you know, unconscious, like not looking good. I as... can fix him. <laughs> as... I have potions what? of healing. What you doing? Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. I'm giving him a potion of healing. Go for it. All right. Well, I'm just gonna pour it. In, and then I'm gonna. What is it? Slash roll. Two d four. Plus four. Yep. That nice. works. Yeah, then nice. As you put that potion in his mouth and gulps it down involuntarily because, you know, that's how, how drinking things when you're unconscious works. Um, he... <laughs> what? What? What is even happening? 
Listen Morning, don't worry up. about it. You, I threw you on the ground and you got knocked out. Nothing else happened. You're okay. Why am I, why am I covered in the, what is, oh God. Looking down and just like seeing the eyes all over him, just like large discs of just like jelly, um, just coating him. Uh, it smells horrible. Um, it's, it's, it's like, I'm not going to describe it for our, for anyone that you, you don't want to know what it smells we like. We don't need yeah. to know. You, you get the idea. Um, but as you shove the potion in his mouth, um, you glance up seeing, um, Nuffy now attacking, uh, your party members. That is your action. Um, what would you, if there's anything else you'd like to do. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to mark Nephi. That way I know where Nephi is within 60 feet of me at all times. Awesome. Um, so you just like sniff twice as uh, as 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 you do. Um, Morden just like, oh, what, what you got some? You got some sniff? Uh, no, Morden, get ready. Oh. Sorry, I'm glancing up and overseeing. Oh, gee, I, you'd never trust the change, and they can change their face, they can change their heart. And he takes out his uh, little pick. Um, and he's gonna run over there and then get murked again. Actually, he's gonna stay on the ground and he's gonna pull out just a little tiny pipe and just go, um, and shoot a little poison dart that does not hit. Um, that's it, just like shoots into the wall. It's like, okay, what? Okay, come on, I'm tired. Um, it hits the bird. No. Doesn't hit the bird. Um, Franklin, what do you, what, what would Franklin like to do? Uh, okay, so Franklin can only cast spell, I can only cast spells through Franklin that are uh, range of touch, but can I cast detect magic? It's a self spell. Uh, mm. I've got to believe that there's an official ruling on that. I would say yes, but I gotta believe there's an official ruling on that. I could cast it through Franklin just to, you know. <laughs> Spells Do with things. a range of self cannot be cast via familiar. Uh, well, there you go. Um, no, Franklin. <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> or who? Gonna go ahead. Yep, gonna go ahead and uh, Harry. Um, Oh, then you're going to chill touch, um, which misses as Franklin lands on the shoulder, glances over, and uh, Nephi <sighs> just sort of baps him off before the chill touch can take effect. <laughs> um, so that'd be Franklin's turn, the Rudderkin. Um, as we get to the Rudderkin's turn, it begins to decay in a sulfur smoke. Um, I need, uh, who is near it within 10 feet. So I need, uh, Edwin and Diero to make a, oh, and also the owl and the gnome and the changeling. I was just gonna um, point out that we are all within 10 feet of that thing. Except for Ranger Ray. <laughs> um, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Well, and also, uh, and Sam, cause Sam Sam's, you know. A spineless city guard literally bottom of the turn order so <laughs> can't do much spineless when he's city down guard here. uh a constitution saving throw and also for the gnome morden okay so did anyone roll lower than a 12 yeah Yes, Diero and the Owl. Um, Diero and the Owl, you both are poisoned. Um, owl. and take a beautiful four points of poison damage as owl. the sulfurous smoke coming off of this strange warped, uh, rudderkin, um, of eyes, just sort of like weird little, the eyes start to like melt and just like turn into a smoke that a couple of, all of you guys, as best you can, cover your noses and turn away. Um, but you, in the midst of trying to defend, uh, trying to defend Grom, are not paying attention and the owl being an owl, um, just like vanishes as it absorbs, um, oh, geez, as it absorbs the poison, it is poisoned. Um, 
and it's an, it's it's a yeah um yeah and just disappears um and you also being consider yourself poisoned um for the time being um so that's at the Redican's turn it is now decaying is sulfurous pile and dead um Sam Shepard glancing over and seeing the changeling um known as Nevi stabbing your friend in the back what would you like to do all right it's time to put you down changeling my back <laughs> he glances over at you as the arrow just like whizzes right past his ear ah dang it oh oh no the owl died yep <laughs> whizzes right past his ear um double dang it is that your go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doesn't doesn't move. My statement of being a spineless city guard still remains. Well, what what can I do if I You move? can move. Get closer to what, attack. What but, you know, that's that's what, just me. What would I do? It's all right. He's what a god, you guys. He's a god. What would I do if I move? I've already used my action. Uh so as uh you shoot this arrow by Grom's ear whizzing past Grom turns I'll take care of this Jero and is gonna go ahead and still bleeding heavily is going to still make his axe attacks <laughs> yeah, I was about to get shot. Grom is really bad at attacking people but he is gonna <laughs> use his crushing blow on the first one to deal an extra two damage um nine points of slashy damage as he lops off the hand of the changeling one of the daggers clanging to the ground um, yeah! um the changeling can now make a oh wait no he can't um yep daggers falling to the ground um as the second attack he slips on the hand that fell on the ground and just falls backwards <laughs> prone um whoa that's his turn um, Diero, as Grom falls to the ground beside you and the changeling now only has one hand and your owl is dead. What would you like to do? Hey, don't even bring it up that many times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I look at the changeling and I'm like, oh, well, it's fine, not your fault. You've been really nice to us. You should just uh, go to sleep. Okay. Um, and where do you target the square? Just like right on him. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many hit points do you have? Do I have? Yeah. Wait, I thought it was a. I thought it was a rain. How many hit points do you have? <laughs> oh. Well, I have ten. No, oh, you're lucky. Uh, cause the changeling only has nine. Um. So the changeling falls asleep. Um. As does Grom. Wait, is that how it works? Yep. Creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose as an interaction. With a creature that has the lowest hit points, each creature affected by the spell falls unconscious until the spell ends. The sleeper takes damage or someone uses the attack to make it awake. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total before moving on to the creature with the next lowest hit points. A creature's hit oh, points yeah. must be equal to or less than the original total. So. With a 22, <laughs> 9 points of hit points from this changeling and 10 points of hit points as both Grom and the changeling fall asleep. Um, They're not dead, I promise. <laughs> and with that, combat is over. Well, that's good. I'm gonna awkwardly try and tie up uh, Nephi, because he only has one hand, so... As you start to tie him up... Uh... Is that stop the bleeding? Hey, 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 you put, you sort of pull his sleeve down. <laughs> Cover it up. <laughs> Cover it up, it's still <laughs> bleeding out the front of the sleeve. Hold um, on, let me take a look, see here. Battlefield lifesaver training coming through. Convenient how he always shows up and... <laughs> you walk forward and like you pull the sleeve back and like look at this nub of his, where his hand used to be, like, yep. And you pull the sleeve back down. Yeah, that's not good. 
Look, you got. Come on, come on. It's not how you talk here. And he and then uh, Morden grabs the rope and ties the person up a bit properly, um, with a bit more skill than you'd be comfortable with someone knowing how to use rope. Um, hey, whatever they're into. Oh my lord. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Uh, what's his deal? I thought he was on you. I thought he was with us. Eh? What the hell? I wait, wait, wait. Was Hold up. So he like takes a hot second to breathe in. I was unconscious there for a second. Yeah, we don't know what happened. Yeah. And when you tried me on the ground. It, it, it happens. My plan didn't work out. I was trying. I just did. Yeah, oh my God. Look at this thing. And he starts to like hyperventilate. Oh my God. And he pulls out uh, a little box and goes. Um, you should also give some of that to uh, Nephi. Nephi? What are you? Yeah, no, what? The aren't, those, aren't, more? aren't those just smelling salt? So you, you can just get them waking up. Don't, no, this is dragon's <clears throat> dust. Why are you being so? And he glances over at Slam. Oh, right. right uh, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. That's smart. <laughs> he's a smart kid. No, he's not. <laughs> well, why, don't, why are they? This is, he puts the thing away as he calms down a little bit. What you, you look? Where did the girl go? I don't know. This this one sort of ran over there as when I was in sitting in Edwin's arm. He, the this white haired bloke just ran over there. She's gone. She disappeared. Can we, can we wake him up? That's what I'm saying. I'm looking He's at Morden. What? Fine. And he Wake just, him up. He just like he just slaps the guy across the face as immediately the change like <sighs> and just sort of struggles against the ropes for a second. Um, but the binding being tied up by an expert uh, ropesman um, All are right. strong enough. Um, he kidnaps people. He doesn't have sex with it. What? Anyway, uh, <laughs> who implied that? Uh, uh, I feel wow. like you know. Danny, no one said that. Uh, you talk to buddy. <laughs> anyway, um, as he awakes, as he awakes up um, from his slumber, um, <laughs> um, you, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh um, my lord! <laughs> as he wakes up, you. struggling against the struggling against the ropes. <sighs> Looking at seeing that he cannot move. Um, <sighs> why, why, why? Just sort of stops talking and just sort of stares at you guys back and forth. He looks, he looks like antsy. Are you feeling better? What do you mean? I'm feeling just fine. I could rip your throat out. Was that a threat? It's a promise. Nephi, what, um, what, what's going uh, on there, buddy? Uh, I'm gonna cast this so that and I look at him to see if I if there's anything sus. <laughs> Some spell facts, please. Excuse me as I look up a quick spell fact to myself. Uh, Nephi, I thought we were I thought we were friends, man. You detect a couple of magical essences coming from Nephi. Um, nothing on, nothing about his person um, in specific. Um, but you do detect that the ring he wears is magic. Um, and also that the cloak on his back, like the cloak that is, uh, he is cloaked in is a, the cloak he's cloaked in, you know, what did you do with the cloak? Um, is also in fact magic. May I know the school of magic, at least the one that is coming directly from him. <laughs> there is none coming directly from him. Not even his brain? Nope. Where'd the girl go? Nephi. She's gone. She left. She just told me to uh, take care of you, and so I did. Or I am trying to. Now, Nephi, I'm going to ask you this one more time. Where'd that woman go? She left. I do not know. It's really just the same question. He tell him the truth or is he telling a lie? Glancing at him, there seems to be something over him. Um, he definitely, he's really intense. I mean, before he was pretty intense, but 
there's something strange about the way he's acting. Um, he's not lying, um, and he very much is in a state that he wants to kill you all right now. Morton, um, give him a little sniff. Break his break the concentration. What do you? But this is my good stuff. Morton, God, it, we, this pays, right? We're still gonna get paid. As he takes a little bit of in his pinky and takes a little bit and shoves it up the dude's nose. Um, yeah, yeah, just, 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 uh, just breathe it. He slaps him on the back as he gasps and, um, takes a little bit. Um, it's just like blinks for a second. Um, I don't know. It's worth a shot. Maybe it breaks whatever's going on. I don't know. Worth a shot. No, uh, that's really clever. I don't see anybody else using like any fancy spells what? or something. So, what that or mean? he's gonna go into a rage now <laughs> and see, try to kill us. Glance back. <laughs> So it calms down a little bit. Um, whoa. This is, how do you, how do you even walk around? Looking over at Morden. <laughs> Look, I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm Morden. How do you feel about our friend Owlboy here now? What, what about oh. Owlboy? Not, not Morden. Uh, I mean, uh, Neffy. Oh, <laughs> Morden was like, what? Oh, uh, Neffy. What, Owl? Hey. Hey. He's got, like, his head's an owl, and I, uh, I want to kill it. I want to stab him right in his... <laughs> go hard. <laughs> <Can't> go hard. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. Of course it hits. Dang. You break his neck. Oh my god. <laughs> you straight up just like just like spin around and just like just like back of your yeah. heel right in the right part of the uh jaw to just like twist his head and just like and he drops to the ground as uh Morden well, hey, well, come on, I just you didn't even let him have the whole high. Come on, now we're wasting God. Well, we did our best. He's just another casualty. You're, you're kind of ruthless. Yeah, well, somebody who shot two shots into the wall the whole battle, you're going to come in and kick your own ally in the neck and break it? Goddamn. Uh, Technically, he uh, stabbed both Grom and our friend Owlboy here, so... Well, you could have maybe tried a little bit more to figure out why, because clearly it's done something, and not just what I'm on. I don't know. He always seemed kind of off to me. Can't can't undo that. I guess that's, that's a real thing. I'll, I'll rest easy, nephew. Yeah, gonna go ahead and report that to the uh, city watch. <laughs> I look at. Yeah, Sam. I don't think they're gonna like that. Uh, oh, let me see your re okay report taken. No, nope. report. Not, <laughs> not reporting to you. <laughs> I am not reporting to the officer who committed the crime. I am, uh, I am the city watch. No, nope. I, re I reviewed the report and, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens to you, Sam. Threat. Okay. Well, I, I just took down a threat. I honestly don't feel too bad about it. A threat. It was tied up. I mean, it was, uh, itching to kill us. Says the guy who uh, wasn't even in the battle with us. Literally, uh, shot. What's that, what's that what's that noise oh i'm no, still that... asleep <laughs> it's over his ground it's just snoring <laughs> he seems at peace he does unlike, seem fairly peaceful unlike somebody i look down at um nephew and i say hey nephew I, I, I know you probably won't mind but i'm gonna study yeah. these artifacts more i'm gonna search them <laughs> i'm doing it first yeah so what? as uh Edwin, as you're pulling out his coin, right, it's, it's, it's like, actually not slide of sand. It's a uh... yeah, it'd be investigation. Um, uh, Diero, you're already pulling off since you know which objects are magical. You pull those off, um, and you have a you have in your possession now. Um, I'll say a white cloak, um, and a ring with a emerald inset. Um, schools of magic, they are as I now take a look at what school of magic they are. 
While you look at that, I'm going to uh, investigate our boy, Mr. Rubberkin, and this mysterious urn. They would both be enchanting. Um, uh, yeah. Um, as you go ahead and glance over the Utterkin and the urn, uh, Edwin, you find fairly easily, um, as it's not particularly well hidden, especially once the cloak and the ring are removed, um, his coin purse. Um, he has on his person, as I type it out. Yeah, it's not really stealing, right? I think we're just. No, it's not stealing. Sure. He's dead. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, and go ahead and roll an investigation check, um, Sam, as you glance over the Rudderkin and the urn that it's sort of covering. The Rudderkin, the remnants of it, are, I mean, there's they're largely sulfurous. Um, and there are some lumps of, like, chunky bits in there. Um, mm. it's not, nothing, nothing looks useful. Um, and it, the urn itself is made of porcelain that has been, like, um, I'm now realizing that we have a ceramicist playing, so I can't just, like, make junk up about Try how it. porcelain works. Try it. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> The porcelain's you been <laughs> stained? Yeah, that's fine. It was once white and then the blood stained it? Yep. Is that something that happens? Porcelain's known for not really uh, staining, but... Uh... Which is why it's so impressive <laughs> that it is in fact stained. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that Ranger Rick was the ceramicist <laughs> in the group. He's not. Uh -oh. Let's just say that, but it was, it was <laughs> No, but, uh, Ranger Rick does, uh, oh, uh I, I know gonna, a lot of material I, science. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna yeah. take, uh, I'm gonna take his daggers as well. Okay, what? um, you do They're have to- They're in my body. Yeah, I'm, ta I'm taking them. <laughs> Please don't touch me. Yeah, no, I'm taking them. They are <laughs> mine now. You, you have two daggers. Um, they my are, back. they function like normal daggers. Um, oh, I'm just gonna sell like, them, I don't care. Okay, what? yeah. Appearance-wise, oh. they are cool. They are slightly curved towards the end, like little mini scimitars. Like little dirts. Uh, okay. Some, yeah, some Ranger Rick could um, use some nifty daggers if they're nifty, but if yeah. they're just normal daggers, then... I dropped them in my bag already. You're going to the market. You know? Sam, I will oh say... God. I will say... <laughs> I will say, Sam, um, although the urn itself is, you know, very bland now that it's not covered in eyes, um... The inside of it, as you sort of glance, you have to climb, It's you have to sort of step up on top of the lumpier bits of the Rudderkin to look inside. Um, but at the base of the urn, it appears to just be filled with um, gold, like, it appears to just be filled with gold. Hmm, perfect. Reach like, inside. Boys, I think we hit the mother load. And I'll tip over the urn. So you tip over the urn and it shatters the gold at the bottom. It is just gold dust um, and just phew, smears in with all the Rudderkin muck as the uh, urn shatters on the ground. Yo, what boy? Smooth just like, yeah, move. <laughs> you are zero for two. Oh, why'd you do that? As now the gold powder is just mixed with Rudderkin remains and now the sulfur, the yellow sulfur and the yellow gold powder that's just like mixed in. There are some coins there, but it's mostly a powder, like it's been ground up as some sort of uh, aspect to this ritual casting of the spell. What a waste. Just another thing that will go on the report. What are you talking about? Some report. Oh yeah, no. We got to report what you did. Okay. I'm sure you will. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ranger Rick and I would just be discussing about the um, porousness of porcelain. It's like, oh yeah, I know. Yep. This is pretty great. It is pretty wonder nifty, how, isn't it? I wonder how it was stained like that. <laughs> uh, who knows? Yeah, I mean, we... Rick, you know, Rick Diero, I mean, he just, he just roundhouse kicked Nephi in the throat and broke his neck. Kind of a only lead there, Samuel. Uh... Yeah. And we got we got to do something about it. I mean, he, he is a city god after all. 
as much as a, as much as I would like to get this city god locked up for something that I've done myself several times. Uh, Morden. Well, I mean that I've seen people do and not reported like I should as a good citizen. There you go. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, as much is pretty clear, at least I think it didn't seem like this uh, this nephew guy really saw too much about what this this broad was doing. Uh, and I mean, I don't know what you if you came down here for this broad. I don't see what exactly uh, trying to come down here. I don't know what sort of crazy person would send you after a broad trying to summon horrific demons and some sort of eyes. I don't know what this eye stuff is. Makes me uncomfortable. Uh, Everything honestly, makes you uncomfortable. Reconsider. Look, okay, I'm I have a certain set of skills, and most of them are only useful in a bedroom type scenario. Okay, and I, I, and I, I I'm just, uncomfortable. <laughs> And, 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 and look, I, look, I, I joined a criminal thing. For, it, it was no. The point for you is whatever these eyes are doing, and why have you got sent down here? It don't make much sense to me. I don't know. I mean, I, I know why I'm here, but I don't get why you guys came down here to deal. I mean, this seems just like looking at the sludge on the ground, this gold powder and rudder kid remains. It just seems I don't know. I, I I get I'm getting some sus vibes coming out from this, you know. Well, boys, it looks like our job here is done. We were hired to rescue a kidnapped lady, not kidnap a lady. Now oh, Ranger Rick's got a point. So yeah. I mean, I wasn't hired to do anything. <laughs> do, we, do we just leave? Are we all in agreement? That we gotta wake we up Grom, guys. This mission? Gordon, Gordon, <laughs> slap Grom. Don't let Sam oh, kick right. him. He might break his neck, too. <laughs> Morden goes over and slaps Grom. Oh, oh, he grabs the axe and is like, oh. Also, like a second as uh, uh, Morden jumps backwards. Oh. Well, what, what? He glances over at Nephi. Oh, God, what happened to Nephi? Sam broke his neck. Well, he did try to stab me, so I mean. I mean, yeah, that is what happened. Sam broke his neck of a restrained crew member. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not. Nephi just sort of looks at the group. I'm just going to stay quiet about that. All right, cool. Well, what do we right, Martin, let's Are go. we done with this? Oh, what do we think? We're just gonna bring back the corpse of that other woman and say it was her? Nope. Uh, probably. Well, no, I think, I think we tell this guy the, the truth that she wasn't kidnapped, that she ran off to do some magic shit. Well, you think that this hoity-toity rich guy is gonna believe a bunch of us? I believe Morden's right, though. Maybe we were sent down here and not meant to survive. I think we got to go find Bob the Bobber. Yeah, it does seem a little strange. There's a lot of bodies down here. Maybe we were just meant to be a few more. Yep. And I'll leave with Morden. Yeah, it it's time to go. It's pretty strange that they would hire competent people to go do this, but OK. <laughs> yeah, competent people. Yeah, Mr. some Two of us are competent. Mr. Two Shot. <laughs> talking Mr. about stands behind a door the whole yeah. time. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, re real, oh. real confident. Okay. Oh. I'm just, I'm, I'm just here on a job. I don't know what. Clearly, I the city guard standards uh, are not very high. The city guard is I, really I pretty shitty. <laughs> they are scraping the bottom of the barrel. Apparently, God, they, they obviously okay. take anybody nowadays. Can you even use your crossbow correctly? Okay. Okay. I mean, didn't you shoot yourself in the hand? Oh wait, no. Yeah, no. I you shot Franklin. Yeah. Useless. I'm not gonna walk my guy like this. I'm gonna just. I'm just going to head back. <laughs> yeah. So you, we'll, we'll just head back. You guys make your way back through the dungeon. Um, Taking care to not step on the pressure plate. Yeah. Oh. Um, before we completely leave the the bird person, I'm just gonna do a little scopey scope. <laughs> Go for make an investigation check as everybody else is sort of walking out and you're just taking a look around. Um, you do find on it, as there, since everybody's walked out, I'm gonna whisper this to you. Did you notice my whispers? I did notice your whispers. 
Whisper, whisper. No one look at the stream. We can't, oh. we can't, can't see, the see the whispers. If they're not whispered to me, that's why they're whispers. Yeah. Oh my lord. Out we go. Franklin will return. I think to myself. What a wonderful I miss, world. I already miss him. Can't you just resummon your familiar? I'm tired today. <laughs> I was gonna be like, he doesn't. He could just come back. It's a, it's a whole spell slot, my dude. <laughs> so bring him back tomorrow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Don't remember the last time he he was with me when I had my din dins. Oh. Cool. Um. So as uh, DR catching up behind and the rest of you guys making your way out. Um, you guys find yourself on the outs on the outskirts on the uh, outside of this crypt um, and do 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 I have music for this now um, I thought you were gonna sing the whole time and I was like we have to get out of here quick <laughs> no um, City. Yes. Okay. Um, find yourself on the X, X, X. What is the word? Outskirts. But I want to say excerpts for some reason. Um, you find yourselves back on the outskirts of this strange, dark, um, alleyway known as Crypt Row. Um. Looking out and around, um, exiting now two party members lighter. Um, I don't like, why is there a train in the background of my city? Um, Cause there are trains in this city. Are that's electric? Fair, but, just, but just not here. Um, maybe we'll try this one. Is this more city? Choo choo. I like this one better. What is, what is the, um, what is the outskirts of the crypt look like again? I'm sorry. It's been, it's been a couple days. Yeah, so outside it is a sort of like the entrance to a bomb shelter. It's just like this like sudden and like abrupt shift of the like brownstone like houses around it to just like a large stone archway. Um, what is that music? In what? Are you are we listening to like why is there like rap in the background? Like Blue this? Man Group, uh -huh. banging on, on the gutters and things. I think that for some reason. Oh man, I really like this sound. Otherwise, there's like a boombox in the background of this. Ugh, I didn't. Oh, I don't, I don't hear it anymore. Man, whatever. I just uh, hear horse. I just hear horses clopping. Yeah, I know. I heard horse noises. So like, I wasn't expecting there to be like a boombox in the background. Of anyway. keep people on their toes. Scene. Yeah. But anyway. Is there, is, there, um, is there a map? I swear there was yeah. a map. There was not a map for that, but I can take you to this. Um, oh. What is? I'm super zoomed in. Uh, oh, there it's we also go. just it has to load for a second if it hasn't loaded in for you. Um. Mine looks like a cancerous tumor right yeah. now. Um, it'll load it in, in a second. Oh, mine's mine's already loaded. Is there? Oh, my internet sucks. Um, but, um, well, that's good, because you're the one with the stream. Um, so as you exit onto this portion of the cogs, um, secluded, not a lot of activity happening, this dead-end street to nowhere. Well, to a crypt. Um, glancing around, there's a few people, actually, that are currently out and about. Um, you see some goblin individuals that are sitting at the entrance of one of the brownstones. One of them you recognize as the one who shot uh, um, Sam as you guys were entering this small uh, cavern. And they're sort of like bickering over a couple of things. Um, they're just sort of like, oh, God, oh, God. they glance over at you. You're good. They glare and go back to talking, but they're all looking at you as they're talking now quietly. Hey, um, don't look at me. Look at Sam. They just continue to glare at your group. Um, 
All right. Well, cool. we should probably head back to the uh, what was that? What was the tavern? We should head back to that tavern. That's where uh, that's where Bobby the Bobber is. The pumpkin seed tavern. Uh, oddly, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, oddly fall seasonal, but yeah. it's a seasonal Maybe. bar. <laughs> pops up in the, pops up in the slum of the city, you know, every fall. Um, but as you make your way back through the, um, and now there's like, I thought this was why were there horses if this is a modern city soundscape? <laughs> now, now I hear. Yeah, there's like sirens and yeah, there's like <laughs> sirens and stuff. Takes off his headphones because he lives in New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> real life. just check to see if it's real life or if it's in the game. Uh, I guess I'll just deal with the trains. The trains make a little bit more sense. Yeah, they make more sense. They're just not. It's just sort of a little. It bothers me because I know the train station is not in this part of the city, but it's close enough. Um, so as you guys begin to make your way back, somebody go ahead. Whoever is leading the way, ah. make an investigation check. City guardman, do your thing. It sounds like city guard would be yeah, doesn't the way. it? Yeah, that sounds like something you'd be doing. <laughs> you know, the competent player. team member. <laughs> no, all right. Yeah, I, I I lead the way. Come on. All right, roll investigation. Uh, ah, yes, the competent city guardsman. Uh, well done. As you get fantastic, <laughs> you guys don't see his roles in character. Yeah, but I can tell that he's stupid. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Sam, not to be not to be mean, but um, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I have I have a map. It doesn't doesn't really do too much, but as you, the two of you sort of vaguely remembering how you got here, the weird roundabout way you took, um, that weird fight with the Duragar. You walk past that same alleyway. Um, the Duragar no longer Duragar. sitting there. Yeah. Duragar no longer just sitting there. Um, as you more than just like Yeah. Um Scoop boop, scoot boop bop. Um yeah. Um, what time is it? Um, hmm. We're on our way back to the <laughs> bar. Um, you make your way back. You make your way back to the bar without too much issue. Um, just takes a little bit. Um, as you approach the pumpkin seed tavern, um, you <laughs> it it appears to be um. Let's see, you guys got down here. We, we tried our best to find a maiden that we had no description of. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, my brain is like in 20 places right now. I have to like focus it for a second. Um, Yeah, so you make <laughs> making your uh, way downtown. Making your way well it's not downtown, it's at well technically I mean it's under town. Is that like downtown? Um but you make your way back towards the pumpkin seed tavern. Um make your way inside. Um it is I'm trying to remember if it's busy or not. When did you guys go down you guys It was busy. It was it was no, but it was late in the day. So you guys were down there. So it's like three o'clock in the morning. It's like late. Like, so it's very busy. Um, it's like very active right now. And like in, in like the late, it's like close to closing time of a very crowded bar. Um, as you know, there's a few tables slipping. There was a little bit of fight happening when you left and that some of that fight is still happening, but it's a bit more focused now. There's like a little bit of a makeshift fight ring happening over off in the corner. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so as you guys make your way back, you see, um, there's an assortment of monstrous folks that make their 
make their stop here. Um, you got some you got some orcs that are currently um, mixed in. There's orcs, goblins, bugbears. Um, one 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 ogre is currently in the back, um, sort of like slamming down a large pint of pint of brew. Um, but yeah, it's a fairly active, crowded bar. You see the various servers going about. Um, and there's not as many servers now. It's mostly just the bartender, um, who is a large, a very, very large um, lizard folk. Very just like hefty set lizard folk um, who is currently um, tending bar. Um, but yeah, what are you, are you searching? What are you searching for? Oh, we're looking for the bartender. The bartender or the uh, the goblin woman? Well, isn't the bartender... Or Bob the Bobber. Isn't, isn't the bartender the goblin woman? To, well, that was one of the servers. Oh, yes, we're looking for her. Yeah, go ahead and roll a perception check, the two of you, um, as you guys are sort of entering as Sam and... Uh, Sam and Diero sort of just... Uh, keeping back as they're folding the map up and not trying to keep too much as... Uh, this is not quite their scene as much. Um, taking a look around, Edwin, um, you do not see immediately either of these women, uh, either of these goblins. Uh, well, I wonder if there's a place to stay here or if we head back up for the night. Because uh, it's been a long day. And, and it uh, has. And we gotta find we gotta find either of these two people or we just head back up and say that the the mission was a bust because I think there's more to this mission than what we originally thought. That's how I feel. This is three in the afternoon or three in the morning? Three, three in the morning. morning. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's bedtime. I don't know about you guys, I'm just getting started. I believe you have a problem. Hey, look, look, you're not my therapist. I can't afford a therapist. <laughs> well, well, I think we should uh, pack it up for the night. Uh, and then we will... Uh, should we discuss what our next plans are in the morning? Or just uh, go back to that guy? I don't know, what are people feeling? <laughs> You could probably touch base in the morning, get some sleep. So what we need yeah. to do? Well, you guys gonna stay down here? I know a guy. A guy that's not gonna rob us? Eh. Uh, you know, maybe you guys should head up instead. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> so you guys, uh, decide to then just for we're we're closing out here um but just for the sake of closing out the session knowing where you guys end up you guys are making your way out of the bottom of the city and finding some lodging um in one of the districts above here yeah all right cool cool so we'll start up next so we'll end it there and we'll start up next session with you guys um i'll introduce the tavern where you go like we'll get to the, that description then um and go through a little bit of that have your long rest and um yeah keep on going um i'll say that that's a pretty good spot to end the session right there Very all right cool.